Hey guys, we got a bunch of new merch right now. Go to store.ymhstudios.com and get that hot new gear. He's the best, dude. He Would is. you have sex with him now? No. <laughs> why? Hard no. Hard no. No. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to. I didn't but, mean to jump that far. That was good. You didn't think about it <laughs> much. Even... <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Honestly. You know what I'm saying? Like. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My mom, mom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? By, a, by that same French excellence. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's the mayor of you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he wants to be the mayor. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? Like this. You know what I'm saying? Do anyone understand that? Boom, boom, boom. We're back. What's up there, Chomo? We are back. <laughs> That's an old school jam from I Ghost know. Crew. I love Ghost Crew. Ghost Crew. And I loved hearing all the old drops. I want to say I met them in Portland in like, God, that must have been 20, maybe 14, 13 or 14. Yeah. Yeah. And they, they, were, they would kick out. They made the Isn't Greasy. They oh made my the Jules gosh. song. The Jules. That that is one of my favorite ones. They made uh Wait, is it the Oh my gosh? Uh uh uh, uh oh, oh yeah, my yeah. gosh. Yeah. And then it goes fart 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 fart. Uh, I think somebody in music would describe it differently. But uh oh, they made a uh, Sharkisha No song. Oh my gosh. Sharkisha yeah. No. They're they're dope, man. Yeah, I think they're Portland. Portland. Ghost um you know, yeah. and I, I loved hearing that home. Uh, it was a drunk guy getting arrested. And oh, he went, yeah. My mama. And yeah, that's on my like, old soundboard. Yeah. Yeah. And then he also made a sound that sounded like stamps. He'd go, ram. <laughs> so we go, stamps. We're spot brought to you by ram. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. mom's. And then that's he had the one best. rambling thing, and we would say that's our website. Yeah. Like, no, it's not a topless com. <laughs> he was so hammered. That's that right. dude is from an old episode of Cops. Yeah. So the cops come up to his van and he's like, they're like, sir, you've been drinking? He goes, I was topless. And they're like, okay, we're going to need to talk to you for a second. <laughs> and I think he does say my mom's house. So, he must because we yeah, heard my, your my, mom's my, house. house. I don't have that drop anymore. It's on my old soundboard. Uh, so that's an old, that's yeah. an old joke. That's yeah. an old joke. He's fuck, fucked up. Yeah, and then of course, oh, and the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. <laughs> there is a California champagne by Palmas. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name, that guy? That's Orson Welles. Orson Welles, yeah. and he was so, <laughs> gosh, he was so ripped. It's the best. I could talk about that commercial <laughs> every day of my life. It is the best thing I've ever seen. It's Orson Welles doing Palmas song commercials in like. <laughs> It's got to be in the 80s, in the early 80s. And like, it starts with the director going, action. And then he, they just all sit there. And he goes, he doesn't do anything. And they're like, cut. <laughs> because he's so fucked up. He's he on doesn't pills. doesn't do anything. Is it pills it or booze? No, nah, he's on pills. He's on pills. Wow, you just changed the whole meaning of that. Yeah. It that doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Me. Oh, he's got it up. Can we, can't, can we play it or no? Nah, I think it's gotten us in trouble uh, before. Will you change the screen, mommy? Uh, yeah. It's all it's all on us. Yeah. It's um Oh, uh, and then he goes, uh Ah he tries to 
<laughs> I swear to God, that's what he does. He goes, uh -huh. the French champagne has always been celebrated for its excellence. Google, if you're listening to this and you want to see what we're referring to, it's Orson Welles. Orson Welles, Paul Masson. Paul Masson. It's a champagne Out commercial. Tips, yeah. He's at the Man. end of his life <laughs> and he's about three and a half bills and he's out of his fucking mind fucked up yeah. it's the best and there's a just just multiple outtakes of him being completely trashed oh gosh uh, it's pretty great um oh should we do our tour dates sure let's do it all right jeans i'm super pumped i'm in chomaha nebraska june 3rd through 5th and then i go to wise guys in salt lake city puta we have added a show there and then san antonio <coughs> in july the <coughs> oh. <coughs> lol that was comedy so club bad. That was and, so bad. And then uh, Liberty Township, Ohio in July at the Liberty Funny Bone. Columbus in August. And then you got to go faster. Oklahoma City in Oklahoma. Indianapolis tits. And then Denver, Colorado. And then Charlie Goodnights in Raleigh. And okay. then Orlando Thanksgiving weekend. All right. ChristinaPOnline.com for tickets. There you go. Um, where am I? I'm doing some Spanish shows in uh, in Ontario at the Improv in California here, not Ontario, Canada. Making that real clear. Brea Improv as well, Spanish show. Then back to my native and first language, English. Uh, looks like I'm doing Atlantic City, the Borgata in August. Also, stay tuned. Real close to announcing some big dates. I cannot wait, and I should oh. get the green light to put those up real soon. Um, if you're on my email list, you'll get the, the email about it. If you've uh, bought merch or you've bought a live show, you'll also get an email before the public does, like the general public. So you'll have first dibs on tickets if you want to see the new hour that I've been working at. And I'm real excited about it. So that's that. Um, why don't we open the show and get into it? Oh, wow. You ready? I forgot we didn't open. I was having yeah. fun already. I know. Here we go. Jeez. Opening clip. Okay, ladies. Dad, dad bod. You see it? Single, still looking, putting myself out there. Ladies, don't just scroll by. Say hello. Stop. If you're within, oh, 100, 150 miles of Fort Riley, Kansas, s send me a message. We can hook up. We can get together. I'll find you. This shit is big time! Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone yes. loving to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. I'll tell you why he doesn't get the guitar riff, okay? He doesn't get the cool guy guitar riff. He doesn't. Because I don't think he should. He's sincere. Yeah. And he's sweet. You know? Like I believe Yeah, it. yeah. I believe there's a kindness to him. Yep. So he doesn't get the riff. You only get the riff if there's some ill intentions or your uh misleading or your uh Your ask is too great. Yeah. He's he's actually a viable but male candidate. He is. He's a he's a nice dad. Yeah. He doesn't know it. I, I believe that he's like, well, how else do I meet somebody? Yeah. He's just trying and he's not like and you know, if you got your boobs are out. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, I'd really like to well, meet you. And I don't I don't detect any mental illness, which is nice too. Not yet, and there's a whole other clip to play on. Oh well, <laughs> But I, I will say in cool guy fashion, he kept the fan on you see the shadow and the angle's terrible. terrible. I will say that the angle Garbage. is absolutely terrible. How do people still, you know, somebody Garbage. asked me for a photo, um, whatever, when I was on the road a week ago, you take a picture. Sure. And then the friend takes their camera phone and gets underneath us. And I was like, what are you doing? And they're like taking a picture. I'm like from down there. And they're like, yeah. And I was like, that, that's going to look terrible, man. 
It he makes you like, look 500 pounds. He goes, pounds. really? I go, well, yeah, you're going to be shooting up at us? He was like, oh, I, th- I, th- I go, stand up. Like, what are you fucking doing? How do you not know that? This, I, I don't know how he doesn't. He's like, I guess for him, he's like, I have to be able to walk freely and talk. So I always put the camera down. But Change the, the angle. The man. secret is at eye level or even a little higher. Yeah. I mean that, you know, some people, they go too high, right? Yeah, but higher is more flattering. It but that's what I'm saying. Out. Sometimes it's like, it's a little extreme. So for those people who don't know, and then people, the light has to face you. you yeah, want oh, the that's light. another one too. The light is behind him. So that's all another kinds one. Of shadows. You leave a shadows. You leave a show and people are like, can I take a oh, picture? Oh, fuck off. And I go, don't, shouldn't we face the light? And they're oh, like, oh, Mr. God. Hollywood here. I'm like, well, it's kind of like, you want light on you, right? Not light behind us. Yeah, because yeah. then it makes you, it blackens your... Well, everything. yeah, and then also the light out. will go into the camera. Is that what you'd like? Can I tell the spotlight you, in the the, the one good thing about COVID is that yeah. I'm not taking pictures with audience now. That's the good thing? Well, of course, on the bright side, because I don't want to see those horrible pictures of me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. You know? I've seen, I've seen uh, a few. And you're just like, fuck, I'm lit bad. I'm, they, look, they shot me fat. Terrible. Yeah, I've never, I've never basically seen a photo that I'm tagged in with someone where I'm like, that's a great picture. <laughs> yeah. I know. Oh, never are you like the that one, was awesome the one time so I, I saw a picture that was flattering of myself i was like why does this look good it's because i was reaching out of a i was reaching out of the door so so my face was extended i was like oh yeah it's flattering never looks good never but um, I, I do like him i just i wish he could offer a little more well here let me let me play it from like, the top what do you have to offer me besides and i'll give you the dad well, I'll, I'll, I'll give you yeah, the full, like, the full what's thing what's the what's the the ad here we go yeah okay ladies dad dad bod you see it single okay still looking still looking Putting myself out there ladies don't just scroll by oh. say hello stop if you're within, oh, 100, 150 miles of Fort Riley, Kansas, s- send me a message. We can hook up. We can get together. I'll find you. I'm just looking for love. Apparently, I'm looking for it in all the wrong places, though. Uh, so I'm a single dad living in Chapman, Kansas. Come get me, ladies. He's trying. He, here's, here's I hope that I, this podcast <sighs> sure serves as an advertisement for him. Can I tell you what he did wrong? What? A, 150 miles is too wide. Yeah. Because uh, 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 how long of a drive? We're talking a couple hour drive. Like, Didn't, let's say you really connect and you really like her, right? Or you both like each dude, other. Nadav won't even go to the valley right. for a girl. Right. He's said it before. He's like, well, five miles, too far. Exactly. 150 miles. It's a desperate move. Right. It's got to be, you got to dial it back to like, like a fucking half Ten? hour radius. You know what I mean? Like, are you within? Yeah. Yeah. Are you in 30 the same, miles? The same county? Sure. Same county. Secondly, he's like, apparently, he did kind of the 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 downer thing of like, apparently, I've been looking in all the yeah. wrong place. And you're that's, like, mm, that's negative, Nancy. That, I, I agree. We don't do that in the ad. I agree. We're going to get this man <laughs> to re-record. That's what you're going to do. A couple things you're going to do, sir. First, you're, first of all, you're going to hold that camera up or you're going to place oh. it on a shelf that you, that's at eye level. And you're going to find a better room. Okay. We all have refrigerators. Yes. Like find a better. Well, it's nice to know he has a home. He has, he has a roof. <laughs> That's a good thing to do. Maybe open the fridge. Be like, look at all the fucking food I have in here. That would be funny. He's like, you want some food? I got food, homie. Yeah, nice lighting. Yo, you want milk? Crown molding, the chair rail. <laughs> yeah, he's got all that. I mean, yeah, I would say a, a couple pluses. Got a nice full head of hair. <laughs> And I do like him. I don't think that that's he's, what I'm saying. Yeah, he's attractive. He's, he's a nice he guy. He could be viable. I'm a little concerned that he's going to go negative. I yeah. just have a feeling he's a bit of a downer. Especially on that first date. Well, I've yeah. just been trying <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, to meet someone. And you know how it is out there. And the person's like, uh, uh, okay. Is there anything worse than when you just meet somebody and they do this? Well, I mean, no, it's, the worst. it's been a hard year. You know, like it's been hard for everybody. That reminds Shut me of up. the comedians who go, I can't get a special because I'm a white guy. And you're like, <laughs> okay. You know, those guys who I are do, like, I'm yeah. white and no one wants to give me a deal. And you're like, I don't think that's I why. I think that's it. Yeah. yeah. I know a couple of white guys that it's worked out for. I think it's, that. <laughs> it's always going to work out for white guys. Yeah. What are I'm you not worried about, about them. <laughs> that they, they lead with that. These comics. <laughs> they, they're like, what? They're like, <laughs> Can't get a special because I'm white. Well, no, my favorite, 
is the woman who's like, well, I mean, I can't meet a man because I'm too successful. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And That's they're threatened. That's my favorite. It's like, no. guys are just intimidated by me. <laughs> Every woman I've met who said that, I just want to go like, I'm not intimidated by you at all. I don't think anybody is. Nobody is. I think that a lot of times um, they're, they're crazy. Of course. And the guys what are is, like, everybody's saying, like the guy who says I'm white and I can't get a special yeah. and the woman who goes, I can't meet a guy because I'm intimidating. They're just trying to tell themselves a reason why things aren't working. Absolutely. So Instead of like trying to make it work. Right. You know? So they don't have to modify their behavior yeah, yeah. in any way. Like as the woman can go, I could just stay crazy. And, uh, <laughs> and the guy can be like, I can stay like mediocre. <laughs> and uh that's why like that's like and, and then the, instead of being like get better at stand up yeah it's i'm white <laughs> that, I'm that's white the guy. thing that's the burden i carry with me i know through this Boo-hoo. world is that i'm white and by the way that's not going to get you much sympathy these days being <laughs> the, the white guy who gives Dude, a shit be undeniably good of course and, yeah. then, and also too i must say in my life i've only had men <clears throat> like the fact that i was intelligent and, and the ones who don't like the fact that i was successful and intelligent yeah we're fucking losers of man course, of course. these guys are it's fucking losers like it's always like that yes and i dumped the guy who gave me you know grief for being smart or whatever of course yeah you just find the winners right tommy like you you're mm-hmm. a fucking winner bro winner bro winner winner chicken dinner look at you you're so handsome today <sighs> yeah i'm just feeling your vibes thanks you're just a man wow i just love you Thanks. Love you yeah. too. Yeah. Appreciate you. Jesus. Yeah. Are you going to get some tattoos this week? I feel like, and I'm just very attracted to you. I'm like, I feel like RPC right now. I'm looking at you and I'm like, I just want to fuck. I mean it, man. Come on. Shit. I'm a hot white trash come up. Let's Babe, go. Babe, come on. <laughs> I haven't seen you. You're gone all week. I know. I know. And then we didn't Play get it. with your cheeks. Ugh. <laughs> Massage. You got that beautiful mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Massage your butt. Massage. Bar. Wait, is this it? Is this the end of this? His... Yeah, that's it. That's his. That's okay. his video. He's so putting he... it out there. Yeah. I really would. I'll say this: if, if people know this guy, and you get him to like re-record based on our direction a new video, I will play it on the show <laughs> and direct people to where he wants us to direct them. I promise yes, you. Yes, I agree. Yeah, we'll help him. Yeah, find love. Yeah. Course. come on mark don't be stingy oh god now so, um oh well a few weeks ago it was my born day yeah and um, happy 52nd it's a bit exaggerated and by the way everybody believes it everybody believes whenever anyone says that i'm in my 50s or I know. or older they're like hey I, I didn't know and then i tell them and they're like oh, i thought you were like 55 man <laughs> I'm like, That's cool. even now i think you look you look way young you look great thank you Thanks so much. Here's the, the cake that you had made for me, my birthday cake. It's a steak cake. Well, I went to the With bakery. With vegetables. And blood. And there's blood Yeah, there's blood the coming out. Yeah. I had them add it's the a, blood. It's super original. Thank I, you. I, when that came out, I was like, what the fuck? Well, your son, Ellis, and I were sitting down together. And I go, let's go get... I like to make personal cakes. Yeah, it's I It's not too. that expensive. I go down to Gelson's, the, the bakery we have here, local... And for 70 bucks, they can make you a crazy, nice, personalized cake. And it's just fun. If this is the gift, you know. So Ellis and I were sitting down and, and I go, what should we do for daddy's cake? What should we make? He goes, Transformer. I go, I don't think he likes that. And I couldn't tell him. Like, you tell him you're selfish. That's for you. Right. I just, like that? <laughs> That's about you. You would like It's stupid. not about you. It's not your fucking birthday. Did yeah. you tell him that? Stupid kid. Yeah. I did. I just, yeah, I said, good, good, and then good. in my head, I was like, well, Tom only likes BJ's and tits and I can't get a cake. We already did the boob cake. And I think that scarred our children. Yeah. That was my a little birthday. much. Um, so I know what you love. You love Lamborghinis and you love steak. What did no, I tell you? You don't like Lamborghinis. You don't like Lam- Lamborghinis is a douchebag car. That's why it's pretty funny. I got home and she was like, cause I know you love Lamborghinis. And I go, I hate Lamborghinis. <laughs> she was like, what? And I go, I despise, I have contempt for Lamborghinis. She was like, really? And I go, how do you not pay attention at all to that part? Oh, yeah. the cars, to me, car is a car. It just yeah. goes, it all goes vroom, vroom. I don't know the I difference. I can't stand them, yeah. Yeah. But this is for you. I thought, and um, there's little broccoli bits next to it, too. They're made of marzipan. It was super fun. Mm-hmm. No, is it? It was delicious. It was super, it was, it's, I, it really made me laugh. I, 
<laughs> I guess I was like, oh, cool. It's vegetables and steak. But it's, yeah. yeah. It's me. It's you. Steak it's and, what you like. Steak and broccoli. Steak and pussy. But in, I couldn't ask for a pussy cake. I mean, I, do you think Gelson's would make me a pussy cake? Probably not them. No. The lady that made the tits would probably do it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, my husband likes vaginas. They're like, yeah. They were like, everybody's oh, like, cool. dude, everybody's husband likes vaginas. Everybody's. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not that original of a take. Yeah. But this is. Steak and veggies well, is good. I'm so glad you like it. And then um, I know Bert is, you guys talk about how your wives give you crappy gifts and stuff. Mm -hmm. So what did your boyfriend Bert get you? That was so much better than what I got you, a steak cake. He got me a sea -Doo. Well, that is way better. <laughs> he got me a fucking That's rad. jet ski. Yeah. That's rad. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Dang. Bert's yeah. the best. And it'll be there when we arrive in Austin. I'm pretty it's crazy. Pretty stoked about it. I, yeah. Man, you can't be depressed on a sea dew. Those no, things it's are so fun. So much fun. That is the meaning of joy right there. Somebody already hit me up and they go, hey, there's an aftermarket kit you can put on it and it'll go 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I'm like, ah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good on that. No way. <laughs> I don't need to go 100 on a sea dew. You will definitely <laughs> die. <laughs> I will if I did that. Well, because if you fall off of it, you're going to oh, hit the man. water at 100 miles per hour. It's like hitting well, concrete. At, oh, yeah. At, at 45, it's concrete. So at 100, I mean, you it'll be like that video that, that we sent you of the guy with the train. You know, you just, bah, 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 you just fucking break apart. <laughs> yeah. What um, happened? You sent him another video? No, no, it's from a few weeks ago. I didn't send it to him. Somebody I know did. Yeah, you, you had someone else do it so that I'd open the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real dick move, yeah, dude. Yeah. So... 100 miles, that's fucking nutty. Yeah. That's not even fun. Isn't that terrifying to go that fast on, on a water? fucking, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been on a boat, a boat that goes 70 and you're like, uh, <laughs> like it's, cause it's open air, you know, yeah. you're like, whoa, man, this is fucking hauling ass. Well, and it's not like you're at open sea, you're on Lake Austin. No, and if you've or, ever, like Travis, like if you've ever really... run aground, like I've run aground before. <laughs> what at, does that mean? That's, you there's like a the... sandbar oh. in the water and you hit it. <laughs> And I've hit it like, I don't know, 25, 30 miles an hour. It's like you fall, it's jarring, you can get hurt. But if you do that, <laughs> 70 plus miles an hour, you're, you're probably going to die. <laughs> Somebody on board is going to die. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need that. Yeah. So do you have any thoughts on your 52nd year of life? Mm -hmm. Have you like, because I'm fully having, I think I am having a midlife crisis mm -hmm. where I, like I I'm starting to realize that I'm not going to be in this meat shell looking this good much longer. Mm -hmm. This is the end of my, my window Yeah. in this meat body yeah. to look rad. And then it's just like, this is it. Yeah. I'm same. I'm same. Yeah. I, a couple things. I think I've never been happier. I'm super happy. Yeah. Same. Same. Yeah. And also I realize that like this thing is going downhill and not slowly. Like, yeah. Like this body, like just, you know, it's not going <laughs> to, nothing is going to last that long. So I'm trying to enjoy things. That's why I'm trying to take care. Like everyone thinks that I'm taking care of myself because I got injured and I don't want to be injured, which is part of it. It's like the trigger to, to trying to like take better care of yourself, but it's only part of it. Like I'm also like, oh, I'm aging. I should really try to take better care of myself because again, this absolute pile of diarrhea that is my body <laughs> is, you know, it's not going to get better. So it's not going to get any. Yeah. So if I like really try to take care of it, it might be like somewhat sustainable. And also like I have these absolute dog shit genetics where like I look at my dad and his brothers and I'm like, you guys look like shit. Yeah. And then I go, oh, that's me. <laughs> like, that's what I'm going to be. And they looked fucking 70 at 50. So I'm like, yeah. I really better. And they have like, I, you know, I'm at least an entertainment. So I have an, a, I have like an excuse yeah. to like really try to maintain, you know, like, you know, you, you have to present yourself to a public, like to yeah. an audience. So yeah, I'm trying to take better care of myself for sure. <sighs> so am I. And I'm like, that's why I'm working out a lot more. I'm trying to get, I want to get down to my weight, per, like my weight goals. Cause I don't have much longer to look this rad yeah wait and do you realize too that 40 like i'm 44 i'm gonna be 45 oh my god kill me that mrs robinson in that movie the the graduate is like my age really do google like she's supposed to be in her 40s i think she's the supposed graduate. to be yeah. 42 or something and he's like 20 something right? yeah 21. and and that's that's what middle aged look looked like middle age looked like this back 
35 year she old. She was 35. And that's what 35 was. Isn't that crazy? Like she's a, she looks like a today's 50 year old, right? Yeah, she does. Yeah, she that looks way older than that. 35. Wait, go back because it says 30, then 35 playing a certain age. Yeah, what age is Mrs. Robinson supposed to be? A then 35 year old is playing a woman at least 10 years older. No, she's playing. So she's my age. Yeah, she's playing 45. But even look how much more sophisticated and grown up she is. <laughs> yes. But that's, a, that's an era too where people also dressed differently. Yeah. Where people people used to get on planes in a coat and tie. I wish they would still. No shit. But she looks great. Absolute oh fucking animals on flights. Animals. Savages. Yeah. Everyone looks like shit. Oh yeah. I'd suck on those. You suck on those titties? Sure. Those are hungry tits though. Yeah, but I mean, I gotta eat. Yeah, I'm I know. So thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so excited to announce as part of my midlife crisis, mm -hmm. I've decided to dress a lot sluttier. Like when you and I are not on this show, thankfully, but like for you, for your sake, for my sake, like on this, we're going to Florida mm -hmm. and I've bought whore bathing suits. Like what I consider whore bathing suits because I've decided like it's not getting any better. Right. I've just got to show off what I have and not even think about it. I'm super yeah. down. I bought a Kardashian suit from that that brand God that they damn. have. Look not like the, that. Not Jesus. that crazy. I, I'm still. A, I got a mom bod, but it's still pretty. It's still pretty good. You're gonna like what you're gonna like the way I look. I guarantee. I'm it. excited. Yeah. I'm excited. I've decided to go full throttle and just blow it out. Yeah. And As then, you should. And then when Bauhaus comes back, I'm gonna keep touring with Bauhaus. Do it. I don't fuck it, you know. I mean, there's no, there's no. What do we have left? Not a lot. Twenty years, maybe. Maybe, maybe if we're lucky. Fuck. Twenty-five. Oh, and those die. last few years are just gonna be the worst. The worst. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm just gonna. Fuck. What are we gonna do when we're like 80, 70? Oh, I'm not gonna be eighty. Not in a million years. You don't think you're gonna live fuck to eighty? No. Not a chance. I think seventy would be real fucking lucky for me. Fuck. Yeah. Baby, you can't die before me. I don't want that. I could throw you off a cliff or something. Can we have a suicide pact? Ah, I don't want to do that to the kids. I know. I have to stick around for our children to be a grandparent at least. Maybe a sledgehammer to your fucking skull or something and then I'll be like, she fucking fell. Anyways. <laughs> I, uh, I decided to dress hoarier for... For you. That's living. exciting to me. But I want to know like what I can do for you. Because I asked you and you're like, I like the way you dress already. I do. And I, I have like, to say, okay. I mean, when we first started dating, you were wearing, you know, baggy horse shit, mm -hmm. and jeans, and like you were just a frumpy dumpers. And yeah. now you're like a fashion icon. Fashion icon? I mean, I'm you're on the runway. Yeah, but you look great. Okay. By the way, I got off the plane the other day um, and there was a rapper sitting in my in in first class and mm. then i don't know who it was but he got off and in my i was like not paying attention he was walking in front of me and i looked and the way he carried himself the what he was wearing i was like is that my husband you dress just like a rapper i'm just wearing a fucking tennis right now but yeah. like he had the same sneaks that you have pants everything like his gear oh did he have ju jewelry on? jewelry he did have jewelry are you wearing jewelry yeah yeah i was like dude i'm married to a fucking awesome black rapper Turns Sweet. out. Turns husband. out my husband's a <laughs> cool rapper. Um, so, but, but here's what I want from you. Okay. Because I haven't seen your face, I don't think, since we got married. I think 08 was the last time you went without a beard. I want to see your pretty face. You got such a pretty mouth. I want to massage your b-hole. I want to see your face. Okay. How long has it been? Long time. Seriously, since our wedding, right? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's, That's about when we got married. We got married in 08. Yeah. There's salami. It's a pretty good looking face. You are so cute. Look yeah. at that baby face. Um, oh. That's like scruff beard. That's not like a full beard. That's how you looked when we were dating. I'll tell you this. I'll do, I'll, I'll do a deal with you. Okay. I will shave my beard. Uh, I will shave it. What are we in now? Um, I'll shave it in July or August. Okay. 
I would love that. It gives me something to look forward to. That's another thing in middle age is that you yeah. plan things to look forward yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. We'll put it on the we'll put it on the books. Put it on the calendar. Cuz I'm on my I'm on my health kick. If I get down like another 10, 12, I'll shave the beard. Okay. And I'm I'll excited. immediately grow that shit right back. Just don't Why? fucking get, I don't know. We'll see. You don't like your face? Is that what I haven't seen it. It freaks me out. Last time I trimmed my beard, I was like looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, Ugh. like <laughs> it freaked me out. I think the kids, I think we should do it in front of them because they're going to be like, who the fuck are you? I know. This yeah. is all they've known. My dad had a mustache for like 20 years. And then when I was in college, he cut it off and it was like, whoa, you, yeah. have, a, you have an upper lip? I know. I haven't seen that. Your teeth look different. Everything looks different. It's going to look fucking crazy. I see that pre mouth. Mm. Can't even see it. Mm, 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 mm. I'm you so got that excited. beautiful mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was watching. Yeah, you're right though. I yeah. will. I will look way younger. All the when the gray's gone. Because I even saw like other um, just like well known people on, you know, social media and stuff, and they have a beard and they shave it. And you're like, oh, this dude looks like. Yeah. So much younger. Now. That's probably why people think you look 52. It it's doesn't the, help to have the wise gray. beard. I know. We are supported by Best Fiends. You know, when I'm not contemplating the great mysteries of life, uh, like the origins of surf and turf, or why do they call it smart and final? I am playing Best Fiends. I'm giving my brain a break. It feels like. Uh, like I've just had a deep tissue massage for my brain when I play that game. There are just thousands of pu uh, puzzle solving levels on Best Fiends. And I tell you, I play it when I'm on the road. It's the one thing I look forward to when I'm on a flight. I crack open that bad boy and I love the sounds. I love the puzzles. It's like there's, there's great rewards every time you level up. It is just so much fun. Best Fiends has tons of fun puzzles to solve. And unlike other matching puzzle games, Best Fiends has variety and, you know, strategy. The only downside, I can't stop playing. Download the five-star rated puzzle game Best Fiends free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R, Best Fiends. This episode is brought to you by our partner, Whoop. We all want to make healthier decisions. We want to try to eat better, sleep better, live healthier lives, especially with summer coming up. Beach season is around the corner. We don't always know how our body is feeling, how long to work out for, or how much sleep we need. Whoop is a fitness track device that helps solve those decisions with its built-in coaching features. It is actually tremendous. You turn those on, and it'll tell you, hey, you're recovered. You need to get some strain on your body today. Or it'll tell you, you really need to catch up on sleep. You're falling behind. You should go to bed by this time and sleep this much. Fascinating stuff that you otherwise probably would not have this type of insight if you didn't wear a whoop. It tells you so much. You can get all this great insight for less than $30 a month. I think it's an absolutely incredible deal. For our listeners, if you've been thinking about giving whoop a shot, there's no better time than today. You can save 15% off a whoop with the code YOURMOM. Go to whoop, W-H-O-O-P.com and use the code your mom, Y-O-U-R-M-O-M -M, at checkout to save yourself 15% off today. Know yourself with personalized recovery, strain, and sleep insights from Whoop. Yeah, so I was watching that, um, one of the classics, I'm sure Nadav loves it, uh, 17 again. I have not seen that one. What? It's no drum That's, line. Yeah. Um, it stars Zac Efron and whatever the fuck happened to Zac Efron? Wasn't he like the hottest shit in the game for a minute there? And I now think he's, he's still pretty relevant, isn't he? I don't know. He I had a like, big Netflix show Yeah, he just had year. a Netflix show oh, come out. Okay. Yeah. Like a travel thing. All right, I don't keep up with the guy's career, but that's good. And um, the guy from Friends, Chandler. Matthew Perry? Matthew Perry. Now he looks like 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag in that movie. He does. I got to say... I think he's got a face for television, not for the film. Jesus Christ, take it easy on Matthew Perry. Well, he's sweet. I think he's lovely. I just, <laughs> I just, I think he's lovely. I, I think the face, like he's, he's not, he doesn't have the looks like against Zac Efron. Oh when yeah. You see him on the big screen. Everybody, oh, to be my fair, God, everybody looks like shit next to Zac I mean, Efron. This Zac Efron is, I didn't, he yeah. was never on my radar, and I was like, oof. Yeah. Fuck Cobra Kai. These, Wait, have you seen him now? No, let's oh, pull him up. Let's see that smoking smoke show. Is this would guy? Say. I would go full fucking gay. <laughs> You'd gay down with him? Oh fuck yes! 
Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's real? He's a real person? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's Zac Efron. This guy? His balls stay empty. Oh, he's never full of cum, right? No. Jesus Christ, yeah. this guy's good Yeah, 100%. 100%. I would be like, yeah, dude. I would, we would start Jesus. talking about chicks, and then like after an hour, I'd be like, <laughs> your shoulders are really nice, man. <laughs> I'd be like, what? I'd be like, no, nothing. Would you let him fill you up? I mean, I prob- probably. Seal, seal you I'd check. probably be like, what? And I'd like <laughs> pretend. I'd be like, come on, man. It's fucking gay. And then like, I don't know, 20 minutes later, I'd be like, oh, should I get on my knees? Or how do you want to do it? <laughs> Look at that guy. He's fucking I super mean, he's handsome. He's just perfect. God, now would you say... How there... many nameless hoes? <laughs> oh, he's dumping clips <laughs> like where left like, and right. I don't remember you. <laughs> dumping clips. <laughs> Chicks were like, "Do you remember when when I when I was in Miami?" He'd be like, "Miami? I don't think I've even been to Miami." I was like, <laughs> like, Look at this guy. Yeah, no, I, I know. She's, he should never be married. Just like Brad Pitt in his heyday, yeah. never should get married. Now, who do you think's hotter, Brad Pitt in his heyday or Zac Efron right now? Mm. God damn. I'm gonna go Brad Pitt. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Oh, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. There's something soulful about. Here's the thing. Here's what's uh, fucked up. You know, we're talking about genetics. Yeah. Like, Brad Pitt is almost 60 and he's still <laughs> goddamn amazing. gorgeous. It is fucking crazy. Like that guy, I don't know if <laughs> if he just has access to a serum that nobody else does, but Pussy. you're not supposed to look like that. <laughs> I think it's you're not banging 20-year-olds, isn't it? You're not it? supposed to look like that at 57 oh or whatever it is. Oh my God. It's crazy. It's crazy. It, it is genetics, dude. And this J- Jennifer Lawrence, too. She's fucking perfect. They're all mm. perfect. Listen, listen, there's a reason people are movie stars. stars. Yes. You have to look like this, okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, please I, please God. tell me he's on fucking HGH or something. He's got to be. So it looks like this. <laughs> please tell me that's not just. But, no, I just eat clean. Yeah, no. But the thing is, too, like, it's a full-time job to stay this hot. Mm. Like you look at someone like Jennifer Lopez, who is oh, she, in her, she's in her 50s. She looks amazing. And she just broke up and she posted this TikTok of her like dancing in a bikini. And you're like, you're in your 50s. She looks perfect. Fucking crazy. And fucking Gwen Stefani, too. You're like, dude, what are you guys doing? But you have to understand, I think they're doing a ton of stuff. This is a full time. Yeah, job. no, no, no. I know a this is not just job. like, well, I kind of go for a walk every I, morning. Yeah, I do Botox. No, 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 no. This is like she's got a fucking team. Yeah. Jennifer no Lopez. Way. She looks amazing. Incredible. God damn it. Do you uh, Can you pull up her TikTok and mute it? Because there was like a song or something. I think I playing. know which one you're referring you know to. Talking? She, just, like, she just broke up. It just became yeah. like public news. and um, She did the whole I'm available now. It's, it's letting people know. It's uh, which one? Which one? Oh, yeah. The, right there. The one below. That one. She just posted. <laughs> yeah. This one was just like, <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Check. Look at that. That's I just broke up. We licking. just split up. <laughs> you like? You like what you see? Yeah. Licking the lips. Oh, yeah. She's throwing it out. Tom, you could crush her right now. You think so? Yeah. You know, I could see it. She'd be like, oh, my God, Tom Segura, you're funny. Like, she'd do that whole thing. Like, oh, my God, you're like my favorite comedian. Wait, is she Rosie Perez all of a sudden? Uh, doesn't she talk like that? She has no. that accent. No, she doesn't talk like that. I'm still Jenny from the block, but like. I think I could love you, Tom. Okay. No, she'd be like, oh, you speak Spanish? So do I. That would be funny. She'd be like, really? Your Spanish pretty? Uh, I chartered her bus one time. I know. Yeah. I, I remember. Don't think I didn't sniff that toilet seat. No, Tom, I'm your wife. <laughs> oh, my bad. Don't tell me this stuff. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You think I'm not? I'm not Bert. You I know. know what I mean? You I guys know. are disgusting. I'm right? My bad. Um, no, she's... Uh, but you got to shit where... Where? I got to shit where she shat. I got to sleep where she slept. Yes. Yeah. And did you J or D thinking about? No. Thank God. No. Okay, we're still married. That's yeah. good. But it got me thinking because I was watching Seventeen again. So the whole premise of the movie is he's with his high school sweetheart. He's about to. It's a senior year. He's a basketball champ, right? Are you mm-hmm. paying attention? I can't. You're, mm-hmm. you're, you drink so loudly. I, I mean, I hear this noise all the time. Any hoodles. 
So listen. I'm listening. So the, God, the get scout, to the fucking point. The scout. I'm trying to tell you. The scout from Syracuse is there to watch him slam dunk. Yeah. The girlfriend shows up. She goes, "I'm pregnant." He blows the game, runs off with her, gets married at 17. They have kids. Mm -hmm. He regrets his life. He gets to go back and be 17 again. And guess what? Spoiler alert. He makes the same dumb fucking decisions he did on the first go around. Which is, you like this movie? No. The point is, how stupid is he to go back to the same decisions? Yeah, the point stupid. is, if you were a guy like him and 17 again, and yeah. you're in a 40-year-old body, you go back and bang every oh my God. 11th fucking grader or 12th grader. Let me grader. just tell you yeah, what you would dump, happen you dump clips. at my high school. If I were at 17 Thank right you. now, many, many problems <laughs> would occur on that campus. I mean, yes, I would be banging. What, all of a sudden, they'd be like, we have a pregnancy <laughs> epidemic at this school. <laughs> All these girls are pregnant. And I'd be like, hmm, what happened? Dude, that's, what, that's why it's so fucked up. <laughs> like when you see that crazy age gap, particularly, you know, when the girls are like, like a college age girl and a man in his, yeah, like, it's so gross. you have such, so much like more power and manipulation skills. Yeah. It's like disgusting. putting, putting a 40 year old mind in a 17 year old boy is so dangerous. <laughs> I mean, it's so dangerous. But how, like, if I, th okay, if I was 17 and I had my mind, yeah. first of all, fucking drop the goth shit, I would be like, yeah. what would you get into? A cheerleader. I would be like the hottest girl in high school. I would, I'd probably take like the easiest major in college. I don't yeah. know what I was thinking with philosophy. Yeah. That's stupid. Probably get started at stand up earlier, right? I would have started stand up immediately. Yeah. I would have played a sport in high school instead of just being goth and angry. I would have done tennis because that's a gentleman's sport. Dumped the boyfriends. I would have just porked all the football team. I would have gone to, to Crespi, which is our brother's school. I would have gone to those. Fuck? Just listen. I go to those football games and I'd, j I'd be a cheerleader. I'd be like, yay, Crespi. And I jiggle my tits. And then I would fucking nail all the dudes wait, on wait, that team. So you just be a hoe? Yeah. Why would you be a hoe? Because I had a boyfriend for like a that's million years. That's hoe over there. And there's no money in that game. Like I should have just fucked all these dudes. And then when I went to college, nobody knows you anyway. So you could just start fresh. They're not going to be like, there's Tina the whore anymore. Cause no one fucking went to high school with me. Okay. Well, are cool we talking story. real scenario or not? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I would have gotten emancipated from my stupid parents at 17 yeah. and been like, just fucking please let me move out, get my own apartment. Okay. And that's it. Oh wait. And then I would date millionaires and stuff. I would find like sugar daddies. You have the most uninspiring story that I could possibly imagine. What's not inspiring about you being just a described being a basic bitch? <laughs> like, yeah. like such a little thought. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm an idiot. I did everything the hard way. I studied yeah. philosophy, which was so fucking hard. Yeah. I went into stand up, which is so fucking hard. Nobody wants women in either of those things. It took 15 years to get, it was terrible. I made stupid choices. I, I did the hard way always, except marrying you. You were the best decision. Oh, thanks. I'd be looking at you. That hoe over there. Not over there. Uh, yeah, I guess I would have done, I mean, <clears throat> similar things. <laughs> yeah. I would have uh, focused on basketball more. I would have. Uh, Seriously? Yeah, it's, it's like, I mean, football. I love football, but I would have been like, oh, this is fucking so crazy like that not that i didn't enjoy playing i'm saying i would have been like do something that's longer lasting you know and like less taxing. oh so you can play it for a longer yeah yeah i would have probably been like hey maybe watch your diet don't be fat <laughs> don't be so fat stop eating so much oh i would have seen a shrink right away i would have gotten into therapy immediately oh. instead of waiting until i was fucking 34 i would have God. known like there was parts of me that I was like, is my family crazy and I, or am I? And I would have just known it. I'd be like, oh, they're crazy. Like yeah. you're definitely on the right path. Like ignore yeah. all the stupidity that each of them has in their mind. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, yeah, it would have been a massacre, a pussy massacre. Yeah. That's what it would say on the walls at school. They'd be like, remember the 1997 pussy massacre that yeah. happened here? Yeah. You could have slayed my pussy. I would have oh. driven to Vero yeah. and done that. Yeah, I would have stopped being so nice to chicks. Oh, my God. You know, I would have kind of like treated them like shit more. They, they love it. it. Yeah. You know? They love it. 
I would have used my looks to get by more. I think mm. I really, I, I made the mistake of relying on my intelligence. We're so stupid. No one cares. Yeah. Nobody fucking cares. Such yeah. an idiot. I should have just married some fucking dumb. And there was only or... one kid that like, that was openly butt fucking girls. Yeah. And uh, I would have joined him, you know, if I could Excuse go back. Me? I would have been like, let's butt fuck some chicks. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I was hanging out with the goth kids and I should have been hanging out with the party kids. Mm. Like, why 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 wasn't oh, I hanging out with those guys? I definitely would not OD. Idiot. I would be right, like, don't right, mix GHB and right. alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I would not trust the girls who are like, it's okay to come inside me. Really? Well, I, I would have been like, hey, you know, what's our protection here? Instead of going through weeks of anxiety. Question okay. I have a shortcut mm. vasectomy at seventeen. And then you could reverse it later when That's, you want kids. Such or a gangster move put for your, a fucking teenager put to your, walk into Put your urologist. nut on ice, bro. Okay, so you're 17. We get your nut put on ice. <laughs> yeah. And then you fucking vasectomy, and then you bust nuts for the rest of your life, bro. Your parents would have to sign off. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> you're a junior in high school. You want a vasectomy? I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to bust nuts, dad. I actually yeah. think that if I, if I, if I, if I if I could get my dad just one on one, he'd be like, I understand. All right, let's go. <laughs> like, it wouldn't take that much to convince him. My mom would be like, what? But my dad would, he would sign off on it. Right? I would do it. Yeah. I, I think you should do it. And I would have put my, my eggs on ice when I was 17 as well, just to have like primo quality, the best, you know? Yeah. Instead of doing it in my fucking 30s. Okay, wait, what else would I have done? Mm. I would have started exercising. Yeah, no, taking that real seriously. Therapy and exercise. I would not wait till I'm 42 I know, to get I know, into it's it. It's so stupid. Why did we wait so Eating long? Eating clean and exercising. <laughs> I did it once. I did it at 20 the first time. And that was good. And I was like, I'll give up on 20, uh, 25. <laughs> so stupid. But yeah, that's what I would have done. Also, I would have taken a year off to just travel the world. That's a good I, one I should have done that that's after a college. But I, I, A, I was broke. I had no money and I was too anxious to even... Yeah. It's hard I, to do broke. It's hard to do broke. I wish I would have saved up money so that when I graduated from college, I could take a year a abroad and go live. I, I do eat, pray, love kind of shit. I would go live in a fucking ashram in India. I would go to Asia. I would go to Japan to learn. I would try to learn Japanese. Take, yeah. Paris. Going deep in the, I would have tried to learn yeah. French. I got a fucking D in French. Yeah, uh, it's tough. It, yeah, because I didn't try at all. Well, I would have tried more. You're smart with languages. You could have done it. Yeah, I know. I just, I did. I didn't put a lot of effort into it. I um, would have paid attention in sixth and seventh grade math. That fucked me up real bad. I quit on that too. Yeah, I was. Everything retarded. that was hard back then, I was like, hmm. Yeah, I didn't know how to discipline. I had no self-discipline. Yeah, no self-discipline ability. To, that's why I look back. And I think the thing that impresses me like the most, honestly, are these kids in high school that are disciplined and focused? Yeah, same. Because there was a few where, I, like, I look back and I'm like, that kid's incredible. Like, how do they know to yeah, be like that? They just were like driven and, and motivated, and yeah, is and that, they knew that like, that it mattered. Is that their parents though? Well, it's, it's a it's a there's usually one or or the other kind of thing. There are self driven people that are just motivated. You know, you they see just it. Just get it. Yeah, and then there's the parents beating them into it. But I'm gonna beat our children into that. Good, good. That usually pays off. Yeah, like. They won't, uh, re they won't resent you. Really? Because uh, I already want to make them super resilient. And uh, my therapist was like, yeah, but they're not going to, like, you can't make them anything. And I was like, yeah, I can. Watch. <laughs> my mom did it to me. No. No? You can't force them to be resilient? You really can't. I mean, you can try, but I, you, you can't really. People are who they are. You know, you can. I hate that. You can nurture things. And then it can, you know, like. I don't think that there's always that um, that cliche dad, like the the sports dad. That yeah. Like make what I've seen, like what I've experienced, is that you know giving them up, like saying like I'll send you to this camp or I'll hire this coach for you. That that's like the extent of when I see positive results. The kid still has to want it. The kid has to be like, I want to be a yeah, baseball true. player or whatever. And like, if he doesn't want it, he, he, if he's not like, no, I'm going to wake up and practice before school. It's like you driving, like you pushing them to do it's that. It's not going to work. It's not really. I guess my fear is that I just don't it's want like stand -up. to. Think about stand up. Oh, you have to be self-motivated. Because there's people, all these people that drop out. Of, like yeah. when you start out and you're like, 
like, well, I got this and that to do. And you're like, oh, you just don't want it as much. And then there's yeah. people like us who go like, I'll suffer. For years. I'll suffer. I'll have like no money. I'll live in <laughs> shitty places. I'll go into I'll, debt. Yeah, people will go on vacations and buy homes and I'll just stay in a shitty place because, <laughs> but it's because you go, oh, yeah. I don't care. I don't That's care. how much I like doing it, you know? Yeah, I love this so much that I will put myself in the most dangerous. Yeah risky horrible positions to do it yeah, yeah that's true you i love stand i still love stand up so much i would do it all over again but one thing i would never change is yeah. a marrying you mm -hmm. having our kids and b doing stand up i think stand up comedy is my most favorite thing in the world and i like i'm so grateful that we, we discussed that. this but we didn't give, give the answers would you rather okay watch your first see the the season you did of road rules Front to back. Ugh, no breaks. Or, so I have to watch it like fucking you can break. You can clockwork watch. orange style yeah, you, with you my can, eyes you can watch it, peeled open. You can watch it over the course of a week. Ugh. You have one week to watch the season. Or you have to watch every set from your first year of stand-up. No, road rules all day. <laughs> Put that shit on a fucking loop, dude. Yeah. I <sighs> it's so hard. I got sent a clip from myself doing stand-up. Just going I was hosting in the belly room. No. Brian Irwin sent it to me. Because he was on stage and then I was hosting and I came back to the mic when he was done. And he showed me the clip and I was like, just watching five frames. I was like, it's so cringy. It's so hard to watch. It's so hard to watch. What, do you, what did you notice about you? I'll send it to you right now. No, no. Are you going to air it? Are we going to watch it's, it? It's two seconds long. Can I'm I finish saying, first before we watch it? Okay, let's take a pee break. We peed. Felt good. I love peeing. I stopped pushing. Because I heard it ruins your pelvic floor. Um, Dr. Drew. What? Yeah. Dr. Drew. Because I, I tell him how I push hard. And he's like, don't. It'll, it'll ruin your pelvic floor. So I now relax and I let myself urinate that way. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So this is the clip. <laughs> that, okay. So I'm, this is the belly room. I am probably one year into stand up. Oh, my God. Um, I have hair. I'm way thinner. Um, so right now when the clip starts, you'll see Brian Irwin, who's a oh, friend of mine, comedian, great guy, very funny guy. He is finishing his set okay. and I'm hosting this belly room show. There's probably 30 people at the show. <gasps> oh, the belly room is the first place I ever did stand up. Yeah. If you don't know, the, uh, no, it's not the first place I did stand up, but, um, if you don't know the layout of the comedy store, there's three rooms, the original room, the OR, the main room. And the belly room. The belly room is the smallest room. It's upstairs at full capacity. It's like 88, something like that, you know, under 100. It's a great room. I love those My small, favorite. intimate rooms. It's My the favorite. most like small rooms keep you honest, yeah. you know? So, but it's, a, it's one of the, it's definitely the first room I played at the store. And uh, yeah, so here's, uh, the audio is not very good. So you might want to turn, just like, don't, don't go full volume because it's kind of distorted audio. But you can um, oh, look at Brian Irwin. Yeah, you can see Irwin. So he then... he used to book this room with Peter Sprite. Is this the Peter That's Sprite? That's right. Brian yes, Irwin? probably was. Every week at the Belly Room, and I loved these two guys. They were so cool. They put me up mm -hmm. a lot. I'm guessing. Oh my god! This is O three or O four. One oh of the two god! years. Let right, me here you see go. you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's your boy. There's Tommy. Oh, there's Tommy. Oh, I've been showing you my balls for years. There you go. That's the clip. Oh, yeah. baby. Look at yeah. you. Another guy. That's what you looked like when we started banging, dude. That's why I got in there. Just looking like that. Look at look at that widow's peak. I know. God, look at that jawline. Shit was real. So masculine. Oh my God, that's what you look like when we started banging, dude. That's what I got into, homie. Sure did. Shit was hot. Look at that widow's peak. Aren't you glad I'm going through this midlife crisis right now to get back to that? <laughs> you look amazing. Yeah. Dude, you look better now than you do back here. Mm. But I do love your widow's peak. I fell in love with that. Really? Yeah, it was, you know why I love, I love widow's peaks because they're so Dracula. They're so gothy, you know? And like part of me, I imagine that you were secretly goth. Like, that's why you had it. Yeah. That's how I, I don't know. I just, I just keep, you, you know, when I see myself so like that, cute. I'm like, God, how little control of my emotional eating did I have? <laughs> <laughs> there, you're thin. No, like, shortly thereafter. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Yeah. We all do something. Yeah, I know. I wasn't the fucking booze guy. I was the you fucking booze. food guy. I'm like Orson Welles. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this came in. Do you remember uh, the... Um, you saw the the week that uh, Rob Eiler sat in. I love. Can I? It was such a funny episode. Can I just say how funny he is and what he's a great, so great job and how great you guys were. Oh yeah, he's together. it's easy. You know, you know oh. what the the best podcasts doesn't matter which podcast you're talking about are ones where it's effortless. Like you don't have to try to like make it work with someone. Yes, that's what it feels like. The podcast with Rob, you know. Yeah, he really gets our our world. He's yeah. very similar to us, and like he loves to cultivate things that he hates. Yes. Like, can he, he just... He's great at it. He sees the world, I think, in a very similar way that He's, we do. Yeah, it's very, it's very natural. It's very easy to keep going. By the way, can I make a push for Tom Talks real quick? If you have not watched it or listened to it, I'm having <laughs> the absolute best time just having one-on-one -on -one conversations. A few weeks ago, I had Jose Andres on. Uh, he's one of the best chefs in the entire world who's also one of the most charitable, like, giving people that... I've ever met in my life. He has World Central Kitchen, which goes to places and you know feeds like when there's an earthquake or a hurricane, oh, wow. feeds uh, the people of that community. Just an amazing guy, an amazing conversation with him. And I've had you know Dion Sanders on and Tony Ethan Suppley on, which was a crazy, like amazing conversation about weight loss and and like you know body image stuff. It was it was great. So I'm having uh, I'm doing those podcasts. You can subscribe anywhere you listen to podcasts. But if you want to watch them, they're on my YouTube channel, not the YMA's YouTube channel. So you just go to YouTube and Tom Segura and you'll see Tom Talks. I'm doing it twice a month right now. Every other Thursday I do it. Um, and then I do the Spanish ones on the other weeks. But please give it a shot. Check it out. It really is one of the most fun things that I'm doing. Oh, hold on. I just remember saying Brian Irwin had this joke about, he goes, uh, I look like Sigourney Weaver. And he yeah. totally did. He's so that was the thing that everybody had, like when you started out, was I look like? I look like my name is yeah, yeah. this, yep. but I'm this. I'm ethnically, I'm Every, this, Everyone's like that. first few years, they have one of those. <laughs> I never had one. I never had you one. You never did? Sig no. Segura or Tom. I'm, I'm but I remember half. so many people having that. Of course. Because it's, it's a great opener. I say, I'm Christina Pajitsky, I'm European, I'm Hungarian, so I'm European, but not the good kind. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah, stupid. everybody had, it's like a, it's a table setter. Yeah, so it's they like know they can right away. see who you are. Yeah, it's actually a good strategy. It is. I was just not. Oh, you know who had a good enough. joke in that room too, Pat Keen, where he goes, "I just got my headshots back. Turns out I'm going to be a writer." Yeah, that's a, that's a <laughs> good joke. He had so many funny, so jokes. many good jokes. Yeah. Um, all right, so this is from five ninety nine. If you missed it, I'll just refresh you here. I like it. I like <laughs> you know that sucks. That fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is, but oh boy, it looks knows. like a B attack. And then, uh, just this you know, week, as a rapper myself, uh, the mom song is out with Cray Sean. <laughs> you can go ahead and download that anywhere. As a rapper, I I will say that his bar, his flow was pretty great too, as an experienced rapper. But uh, yeah, go ahead, Tom. So we, uh, Crayshon, it's called the mom song. I, I kind of need to regroup myself after World, that. The album is world's biggest idiot. And then the remix is on there too. The mom song. Cool. <laughs> um, so I played that clip of the B attack with, um, <laughs> with Rob Eiler when he sat in and during that clip, I'm going to play it here. He says that somebody should make music to it. And so <laughs> Jesse Lucas, I watches that clip. And obliges the request. Dude, that's a legit swarm of beats. Yeah, they should make a beat with the screams, and then and then do the rap over the beat. Yeah. 
Love it. That's amazing. Way to go. Jesse Lucas, I thank you for that. Oh, Jesse Lucas. I yeah. might want to work with you on my next joint. That was really good. Wow. On your, on your next joint. It's a good joint. producer right there. Um, this is a... Uh, this is pretty cool. Cool email. We got a couple. Emails. Got to do this, one. this one. Oh man. All right. We got this email. It says, Hey jeans, I recently brought my girlfriend into the mommy world and I was bringing her up to speed with all the different cool guys. Eventually we got to the sexiest man in the state of Utah. Uh, the one and only Tommy Johns. We were watching YouTube clips and she blew my dick off when she informed me that she, in fact, went on a date with Tony. No. I said Tommy, right? Tony Johns. Went on a date with Tony back in the summer of 2018. She met him for lunch, which he showed up um, a couple six packs deep into. <laughs> Throughout the date, she was not able to get in a single word due to his uh. constant rambling about how he is the best looking man in the state and how he has never met a better looking Italian young buck. After lunch, he made an attempt to get in them jeans, which she promptly shut down. She's been keeping them extra high and tight ever since. Huge mommies over here in Utah. Erection achieved. Chase. <laughs> Take your Ubers. So, pretty interesting. <sighs> That's shocking. I can't believe I mean, believe we should that. reach out about this. I I'd love to hear more about yeah, this. Yeah, I'd date. like to get more of an in-depth account of yeah. that encounter because... I can't imagine that Tony Johns would show up and just ramble about himself like That's that. Hard to believe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. You know, like dead ass though. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's the best, dude. That is unbelievable. He's my one of my absolute favorite cool guys. Uh, so this email is just tremendous. Uh, it says, "Hello, I was listening to last week's episode about if people come on rides at Disneyland." As a custodian that has worked there for 20 years, God. that is a career. And by the way, Disneyland custodian is no small potatoes. Disneyland, if you've ever been there, they take their uh, cleanliness very seriously. Yeah. I mean, you won't even see so much as a piece of litter on yeah. the ground. So this they is take a care real of job, place. man. Yeah. yeah. I have cleaned up every body fluid you can think of, including cum. Oh, get off. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. The cum was in the elevator room at the beginning of the haunted mansion. Remember the elevator room? Yeah. I was called originally for a urine cleanup. Of course, it is dark as fuck in there and had my coworker shine a light on the spot. Right away, I saw a spot on top of the carpet that at first glance, I was like, uh, that's not pee. Pee soaks into the carpet and doesn't just hang out on top. That's for sure. That is 100% accurate, as we know from our children who urinate on everything. Yes. I thought it was spit, and then I bent down and saw it was white. Ugh. I looked at my coworker and was like, dude, this is jizz. When working in custodial, you are pretty desensitized to gross shit, and I was just more amazed this dude had jizzed in such a short period of time. Pretty impressive. Which is so true because, you know, you don't have them very long in that yeah. first you, room. You got to be ready to go, locked and loaded. Which is what we discussed. Yeah. That yeah, may, I'm come now. They must have been working their way up in line. Yeah. And then the final payoff oh, yeah. was there. Oh, yeah. She's like rubbing it on the outside. And yeah. Well, you're get, assuming this is two women. I'm sorry. A guy is like I'm rubbing it on the outside. and Yeah, I'm going to come now. This well, always now. this always boggled my mind until listening to your mom's house. I am convinced now it may be either the four strokes guy or someone on meth. Having all this experience, I think Tina's messiness is so tame. You heard? I would have I would take the dirty floss over the shit blood skin tissue ripped from a leg caught in the bumper from an Indiana Jones ride vehicle and any other bodily fluid oh, I cleaned up. Jesus. If you need a mommy custodian, I am your gal. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for, for letting report. us know. Oh my god, oh, that's very very interesting. <laughs> And totally disgusting. But Who also, comes at Disneyland? Well, and also proves my point that the Haunted Mansion is where you come. Okay. That's what I said. If you're going to pick a ride at Disney, it's the uh, Haunted Mansion. That is the sexiest place in the world. <laughs> the sexiest uh, place on earth. Isn't yeah. that the tagline yeah, for Disneyland? Um, all right. We will take a short break and we'll be back with our guest in a moment. We are supported by Squarespace. I love Squarespace. I have built five websites using Squarespace. You can turn your cool idea into a new website, showcase your work, blog or publish content, sell products and services of all kinds, 
promote your physical or online business, announce your upcoming wedding. Maybe you've got an adorable baby you want to show pictures on a website to your family members. It's just, it's so easy. The templates are so clean and intuitive. Uh, there's e-commerce on there. It lets you sell anything online. You can customize the look and feel. Uh, built-in search engine optimization, and there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever. It's so easy to use. I'm not a computer genius. You don't have to be. Head to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. We are supported by ExpressVPN. I know that none of you watch porn. Me neither. But just in case you have any friends that do, you'll want to pay attention to this. With everything going on around the world, governments have increased their surveillance. They're using your devices to track your location, movements, and in many countries, your internet activity. You don't want to be literally caught with your pants down. And one of the best ways to keep your online browsing activity private is by using ExpressVPN. I started using ExpressVPN as soon as they came on board and I was informed of what they do, which is you can hide your location, your IP address. No one has to know who you are and what you're looking at. And I usually look at very historically accurate, important things. But sometimes, like some of you and your friends, I'll end up on Pornhub and for other studies. So <laughs> that's why I use ExpressVPN whenever I go online. Uh, so to protect your privacy today and get three months of ExpressVPN for free, visit expressvpn.com slash your mom. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash your mom for three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash your mom to learn more. Oh, my jeans. I'm so excited to have this guest on. Justin Martindale is with us. Sweet. Finally. Finally. You might know him from the Glitter and Garbage podcast with Justine Marino or on the E! channel, What the Fashion. Mm -hmm. You're so great at that stuff. And Lights Out with David Spade. And most importantly, you and Frank Castillo had a podcast mm -hmm. devoted to... My TikTok curations, is that accurate? Yes, or? yes. And there was so much hate for it because they were like, you can't curate. Only mommy can curate. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, no, sorry. No, you, yeah. You but you that. actually got me, uh, mm -hmm. first of all, thank you both for having me. Oh, yes. Very happy happy belated birthday. Thank you very much. Um, you got me into TikTok because I remember when it first started mm -hmm. and we were like in the main room, green room, and I was like, what is, what are these clips you're putting up? And you were like, yeah. Justin, you got to get Content. into it. And I was like, oh. Dude, I had a similar experience. I was in bed like, the fuck are you listening to? Oh, I'm sure it's and even then, weirder in bed. Oh, yeah. And she'd be like, you got to get on the talk. Mm -hmm. And all I saw at first were like these teeny boppers doing dances. And I was like, Terrible. I'm not interested in this That's bullshit. That's not the real. And then she showed me the dark lane of TikTok. Ugh. And I was like, I'm in. I'll, oh, I'll sign up. <laughs> you have introduced yeah. me to so many people that I didn't know I needed in my lives. Yeah. yeah. For instance, I don't know exactly their names, but there's like the hot dude with the mullet with tattoos all over his body who like smokes and just looks at the <gasps> camera. Oh my God, I love him. No, he's in Pennsylvania. Oh. He actually makes really... What are you, geo-tracking these guys now? Oh. Well, I know this because he bought a church. He's kind of gothy. He bought, and he a, bought a, church. a church. Of course he did. And um, he's de Mikey. Mikey mm -hmm. Hanger. Yes, Mikey Hanger. Mikey Hanger. And he's got the best talks. Oh, and he's so good. And he's so fan handsome mm -hmm. and he's in great shape. Do you mm -hmm. think he's into the girls or the guys? I don't know anymore. It's been a, it's been a long pandemic. Who knows? So Who you, knows? Oh, you've been is. on, there's Mikey Hanger right here. I mean, my oh, God. This guy's Look, the king. I mean, that he looks cool. like a dirty lifeguard, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Like, <laughs> oh him. shit! Yeah. yeah, he's amazingly. Oh, he's cool as fuck, huh? Talented. Yeah, he's really cool. And then there's the lady uh, with the the wide set eyes who yes. like who who lip syncs. Yes, I can't air her on this show because she sings copywritten songs. Yeah, I so, know. You yeah, can't that's do one that. reason. Yeah, <laughs> it's the songs that get you in trouble. She's you know, <laughs> you know somebody that we became absolutely fascinated by from TikTok, and it'd be great to have you weigh in on some of this. Please, uh, oh my god, <laughs> it's happening. It's. <laughs> Dr. Joe Court. I don't know if you remember yeah. you know who this is. Who yeah. is it? Hi there. My name is Dr. Joe Court, and I'm going to give you reasons why straight men have sex with men. Because they're, they're gay. They're not gay. They're not bisexual. <laughs> oh, okay. My whole um, specialty is with male sexual fluidity. Mm. And um, mm. what I always say <laughs> is that when women have a non-heterosexual thought, we give her wiggle room. 
but we fetishize her. It's true. When men have a non-heterosexual thought, we stigmatize him and we tell him he's not straight. False, wrong. I really want to get rid of this myth. I really want to get rid of this stigma. Yeah, you do. And if you stay with my TikTok, you're going to hear all the reasons why straight men have sex with men. I'll see you later. God, we've been waiting for you forever. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> We have spent a lot of time with the good doctor. Well, he's clearly gay. No, he is. He yeah. Is. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very openly gay. Yeah, he's like he looks like a he looks like the eighth dwarf from Snow White. He's got that like <laughs> drunky red nose. What would he call it? Faggy? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Um, ah, this is why you're here, Jesse. I, well, I mean, I god, is I he gay? does he identify as gay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's okay. openly no. gay. He has he has so had a, a partner. He has a partner. <laughs> he's been, he's been with somebody for a while, and <laughs> he his look like a dwarf. big <laughs> see. Can't unsee it. Hi ho, dude. His his so his feed is always of this subject matter, and also he will constantly just reinforce the fact that his practice, because he's an actual therapist. Uh-huh. He's like, I basically the majority of my practice are straight guys coming in mm-hmm. like, with their spouse or without, and being like, yeah, I'm fucking guys, and he's like, yeah, you're not gay. So he has like right. these this criteria about whether or not you should be. He says it's very common. I'm like. How common is this? And, you know, he said that it's very common. I have a question. Are him and his partner in an open relationship? Ooh. We don't know that information. Know that. Because I want to know if these guys are like, hey, I'm hooking up with guys. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're not gay. Let's play one of my favorite games. I've never done this before. That's what Tom says. Yeah. Is that we we think it might be a ploy. Because I when I lived in San Francisco, there were gay guys whose specialty was the whole thing of like straight guys yes yes the fetish this your reminds boyfriend me, i could turn your boyfriend is what this, i had a friend this saying. reminds me of a straight uh a straight male relationship coach for women mm-hmm. like the guy but he's single and he's like oh, i yeah. just coach women <laughs> to, to, you know to get and then you're like do you happen to bang them sometimes I right mean, have we connect i don't know i'm not trying we to. call it's it like, a connection yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, i think you're just doing this whole thing to get laid i i think it's a different type of grooming i don't know i feel like he can be like no bro you can be straight but let's he's actually each other's dicks. he's also an author well, well this what is, is the it? book is my husband gay straight or bi a guide for women concerned about their men if, okay <laughs> if you buy this book you already have your answer <laughs> like, i think so too what woman is like you know what? I need this. It's, yeah. it's like I've got, you What's know. What's going on with you, sweetie? Are you? Well, okay. Let me, Yana. Uh, in, in... What if that was in your stocking on Christmas? Like... Oh, my God. <laughs> like, it's over. <laughs> yeah. It's over. Well, Yana, allow me to defend Dr. Joe Court's position because mm-hmm. he does have a point that, you know, when women kiss their friends, their girlfriends in college or whatever, it's this part's just true. spectrum-y. Mm-hmm. And then why do we have the same double standard for men? Like, couldn't true. men have an experience in college and just yes. go not for me or that was weird i was drunk well i think that's toxic masculinity at work because i feel like women it's like more like oh we can we we've normalized that behavior but i feel like guys can be i feel like guys have hooked i i know i've hooked up with straight guys and <gasps> they now have families really and wives yeah hey dude she's right here chill the fuck i'm out. sorry so wait tell me about that it was one time <laughs> okay wait, five t- tell me about the straight guys you've hooked up with and uh, how does that go down i mean i was in, i was in school and and i remember we were like oh god um <laughs> we were in his car and you know we're hooking up in his car Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. No, I need no, more. No, you got to go back. You need Christina more. definitely wants more. Yeah, like you can't just go and then one thing led to another. You have to go. Okay, so you're first of all, you're are you out at this point? Are you the gay yeah, guy yeah. on campus? So he knows. Yeah, and he's your friend. No, we no. met on a uh, a chat site. Remember? Oh, good oh old yeah. Chat. So he's good old gay.com. Right to the point. Oh, so he's looking though. He's, <laughs> he's searching. Looking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So you get chatting and in the chat do you say, hey, I'm a gay guy? Are yeah. you straight? Like you find out that he's straight? Is he is he telling you I'm curious or Well, it's it's like a yeah, I think it's a, at that point it was like a I'm I'm curious. Uh let's try some shit out. Okay. And did and, you know him in real life or no, just a stranger? No, no, no. No. It was just at that point it was like a spontaneous like hookup. And then where did you meet? Uh I don't remember exactly where we met. I think he picked me up in his car, which, you know, <laughs> Safety first, kids. <laughs> yeah, clearly the nineties. I mean, so he picks you up in his car, yeah, and he's and then, like, and he's like, "Sup?" 
and you then yeah. watch the football game yeah like, it was kind of like that he was like hot latino kind of like oh. thick football player yeah yeah <laughs> sorry tom it's all good is this in north carolina i had a gay boss no, it's in texas I had no. a, this I had is a, where you're going <laughs> i had a i had a i had a gay boss who tried to pitch me on hooking up one well time. let's talk about that time yeah. how did that one go he um I, I, I want to hear more no, about yeah, keep this going, keep going, keep going. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we parked across from the theater apartment. Was he nervous? I A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I think there was some like, oh, we're going to get caught. Because I mean, my God, this was kind of like, you know, in Texas, you can't, it's not really yeah. normalized at the time and kind of still isn't, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, um, it's not San Francisco. Man. No, no. Yeah. Right, right. And, um, you know, we could get in trouble. You know, so there was kind of like that excitement about it too. Adrenaline surge. Yeah. Is this daytime or nighttime? This is nighttime. Oh, yeah. thank God. Okay. Yeah. So and you're then in his car, and are you, are you guys drinking? To no, loosen no up? drinking. Straight, just, just fucking. Yeah. Like old fashioned. <laughs> so you're like, "Hi, I'm Justin," and he's like, "Hola, I'm." Well, I think name? that's racist. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I. Uh, it, I, uh, yeah, I can do it. He did not hey, say all. Uh, yeah, it was not. Este, no, he wasn't selling Diego. flowers on the highway. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. How the tables have turned. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you want the roast? Yeah. <laughs> Our bag of orange. Bitty bitty bum bum. <laughs> um, but uh, we yeah we started like making out and you know. So who initiated? So you start Frenching him or he Frenches you? God, you're oh, real. I mean, this Frenching. is like a detective. Well, because I'm so curious. Like he must be nervous as hell, and you're like experienced. You've already been with men. This is his yeah. First we're like time. I mean, also we're like 19, 20 years old, so we're like yeah. new newbies yeah. at it. Um, but I remember we uh, you know, there was some we were dicks came out and. There was a moment where he was like, yeah, I'm not gay. I remember this. He was like, I'm not gay. One day I want to have a wife and kids. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> what? He said that? <laughs> Guy out there. Yeah. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> Chupa mi verga. Yeah. Okay. Um, wow. I'm very bilingual, by yeah, the way. Yeah. No, I mean, you got all the important ones down <laughs> for sure. Shut up and suck it. Yeah. That you knew. He knew them right off the bat. So did you suck his ween? And then did he, did he reciprocate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And with seatbelts on, I think. Yeah, Shut I think they might have been. <laughs> seatbelts seat on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, was he good at it? Yeah. yeah. Like, was he nervous? Wow. Yeah. He and there good. was like another moment too, where we're like, so when he's done. You're like, I gotta tell you, I think you're gay. Yeah. That was really good. <laughs> well, it was very, very weird because it was like there was one. We were both heading down to like Padre Island for spring break. Oh yeah. And uh, we were driving. Uh, down to Padre Allen and he had picked up like his girlfriend, like one of his girlfriends, not oh, the girlfriend, oh, but I got, a girlfriend. I got you, a friend, yeah, yeah. And she had like passed out in the back seat and we were like, like while she was asleep, that was really hot. Wow. Yeah. And then the, after that, it was like, we never talked again. Yeah. But in your wow. professional opinion, would you assess that he was gay or is this, was this, is it possible to truly just be on the spectrum? And yeah, I think, I think, you think he was literally trying it. Like I think he was just selling his oats. I think I think uh, I think he's hit hit me up a couple times, like yeah, he's on the on the Facebook or something. Like, hey, I heard you on Rogan or something like that. Yeah, maybe he listens to this. Oh, well, if he does, you know exactly <laughs> who you are. But uh, Juan Pablo. <laughs> but, <laughs> but like, you know, I don't judge anybody for like what they want to do. I just feel like the, you know, it's. The honesty to yourself is the most important thing. And if you're with somebody to be honest about yeah. that, like you can be bisexual, you can be curious, but like when it, when it, it does suck though. If, if like what he wants to do is be gay mm -hmm. and he's not right. You know I mean, that sucks. Well, I, and that's the stigma of like, Oh, I'm in Texas. And yeah. I, gotta, uh, burr, 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 I went burr. to school with a guy who was not comfortable, like being out or anything mm -hmm. would like, see girls but like there was just a bunch of stories ar around about him with guys and you know everybody's talking about it you yeah know? it was kind of like scandalous at the time and then he went on to another school and i met friends of his at, at the other school who were like oh yeah and they just had more stories about him i was like oh so yeah. he's, he's gay and he's like getting into being comfortable with it didn't see him for like a decade and then he's like yeah me my wife my kids and all this stuff and i was like what your wife and kids. Yeah. Like I, that to me, 
I was like, oh, that's kind of a She's bummer because I feel like, I feel like you know. Well, I feel like there's there. You can also there's so many ways you can hide. You can hide in religion. Yeah, I mean that's what that's Colton, a big one. Colton just did, and The Bachelor this past <gasps> week. Yeah. I saw that. So yeah, he he just recently came out. You know, very dramatically on Good Morning America. Mine was not so much that, but like. You know, he was like, I was raised to be uh, a Catholic and it was looked down upon. And I did three seasons of The Bachelor and knew I was gay in sixth grade. I'm like, I get that. But at the same time, I'm like, you did put a tracker on your ex-girlfriend's car. So that's a little extreme. Um, But, you know, now he's like comfortable with who he is and, you know, has a Netflix deal in the works. (laughs) Oh, really? Good for him. New show. So new series coming. Do you think then that bisexual men exist to to be honest yeah Yeah. really they can go back and forth by by guys by guys especially and they because i'm telling you that i in sf at least the gay the dudes i knew very rare for guy to be bi like truly that usually well that's san francisco that's like the mecca yeah yeah Yeah. i feel like if if, (laughs) Like if you're by in San Francisco, they shun you out into the yeah. streets. <laughs> oh, so it's it, the fuck it out is, of here with that bullshit. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because yeah. there it was shameful to be a bi man. Yeah, that was like, dude, you're not pure. Like, get the fuck. Yeah, you're right. But there I mean, also, it's I feel everyone's at this point, kids, and I say kids. I mean, young adults have more courage, and they're more fluid which is something that's kind of educated me a little bit because i'm like no you have to be this that or that but also society's way different right i mean (laughs) you know 25 years ago or something somebody says they're gay everybody would be like jesus yeah it was still a big deal like now they're like oh that's pretty cool well yeah like fucking you should put that like on your bio yeah and you have like five-year-olds being like i'm gay and you're like what yeah Yeah. (laughs) wait so you got your boss you hooked up with your boss I didn't hook up with my boss. What? It's fine. This is a safe space. It's a Tom. safe space. Okay, here yeah. it goes. So, <laughs> point of personal privilege. Uh, no. So I. First of all, this is like peak Tom. I'm like 21. Hot. Yeah, I'm looking all right. And he was, dude. He it was. He was so transparent. Like, he was, first of all, he's very flamboyant. And he hears me talking to somebody as I'm an intern and at at this production company. And he goes. You know, I'm actually looking for an intern. I was like, oh, really? And then he goes, he kept referring to me as a hot Cuban. He was oh. like, you're this hot Cuban. I go, I'm not Cuban. Didn't matter how many times I told him. <laughs> He'd be like, I got this cute, hot Cuban guy that I was like, all right, oh man. Oh, my God. And then one time I, I had gone on a date and I was like, I brought up like that this chick was annoying. He was like, that's why you got to get with guys. And I was like, what? <laughs> Wow. He was, was he out? Was he out? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You said flamboyant. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, yeah. Re, like, we would have production meetings, and yeah, we, would, we used to laugh about how we're talking about sh- like shots in a. He's, he's you know the, how we're gonna shoot this scene, right? This production stuff, and he'd be like, you know, we want like a sexy shot of like a door shutting, and we would always be like, how's it sexy? <laughs> it's sexy. just a door. Everything had to be sexy. So he's mm-hmm. like, and then we'll have like a sexy swoop in, and then like a sexy car mm. will come by. We're like, is there anything not sexy? Well, he's directing porn yeah, at this I, point. I mean, yeah, it, it feels like it is. Sexy. But then one sexy time he was person. like. He goes, that's what I'm telling you, man. Like, if you uh, if you're with a guy, it's like you know, I'll watch the game and <gasps> suck your dick while you drink a beer. Oh, he was, was gay like, baiting you. Oh yeah, and I was mm-hmm. like, cool, man. That's very cool. And, and you never, never tried it? No, I didn't. Oh, uh, not that. once. No, but it and, sounds perfect. For well, first you. of all, was I he mean, like a six, like a five? Yeah, maybe yeah, I mean, I'm, first cute. of all, I'm 21 mm-hmm. and he's like 45. Oh, oh you yeah, know? Yes. he wanted to do you a favor. Now earlier, before you came <laughs> in, before we came in. I was talking about if I was gonna go, uh-huh. I'm going like Zac Efron, like that oh, level. That's your number one. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you want to talk me into it, that's what I'm. That's what I want to be talked into. Is like we were looking. At, I mean, he's fucking flawless, Justin. Zac Efron. I mean, oh he's, my God. look at him. He's flawless. Oh, he's him, shirtless. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah, dude. Uh, if, now, if that guy had been like, you want to watch the game and I'll suck your dick while you drink a beer, I'd be like, all right, man. Wow. I'd be like. Like you know, now, Zach Efron, not High School Musical. Right now, this one right here, I'd be like, you know, you know, you might not know this, Zach, but a lot of straight guys, there's a stigma, and I don't fucking re- <laughs> understand why. <laughs> Turn the pages quick. Where's the chapter on Zach Efron? I mean, oh I mean, yeah, God. Zach Efron is definitely yeah. that's up there, man. I he's, mean, he's he's, flawless. he's up there. He hikes. He does yeah. retreats. Or even 57 year old Brad Pitt, he could get it too. Oh, really? I mean, come on, the guy still looks fucking. Amazing. I know. 
What yeah. about a young... Okay, we're having this debate, Jesus Justin. Christ, man. No, he's so stunningly handsome. It's so oh. funny because I've just had like crushes on these guys for like so many years that I'm just kind of like, uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're like... <laughs> know him. I'm like, numb. Yep. So, but would you take Brad Pitt or Zac Efron? Um... Uh, Oh my God! Look how good looking that See, guy. See, I would take Brad Pitt in Legends of the Fall, oh. as 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 I think the majority of the world would. Yeah, yeah. I think that a lot of people with would the take long him now. Hair and Ooh, the... Tristan just fly fishing. Yeah. Or even interview with a vampire. Or interview with the vampire. Same luscious yes. locks. Look at that. Yeah. God. Now, have you seen Cobra Kai? So am I? Oh my God. <laughs> Are you really back on this bullshit? Well, I'm just. We're having girl talk. Yeah. <laughs> G U R L talk. Yeah, you you and Bert talk about tits all day long. Yeah, that's I mean, true. You guys I do get... talk about Bert's tits a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, he's gonna come back from this fucking movie like two. Where is he in Serbia he's or in something? Serbia, Good, yeah. keep him there. Yeah. Oh, do you man. think he's gonna get so much fatter? Oh, yeah, drinking. Dude, he's Facetime me twice. Completely shit faced. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. He's what's, like, what's we shot Serbia? this scene today. I'm like, are you all right? He's like, I'm having a couple bottles of wine. Yeah, he's gonna be huge when he gets back. <laughs> he's not gonna be working out. He's gonna be shooting like sixteen hour days. Yeah, he's not. He's gonna be. Well, you gotta you gotta get bigger to stay warm. It's like that. Exactly. It's, it's yeah. like oh, walrus. That's fat. a good you know, excuse. Gotta, it's like that insulation. You know. I like, hope he comes back enormous. Uh, 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 what was what, so? What was the Cobra Kai? Like? Oh, I, it's, I'm just in love with a couple of characters. No big deal. They're, they're 22 in real life, but they're playing teens. They're playing teens, and so that gets it's, her. They always have been like that, though. Yeah, I know, but yeah. I'm like Robbie. I, it, do you, you like go. Robbie or the other guy who's in? Um, I mean, he's uh, 20. Tanner Buchanan. Ugh. Yeah, that's a cute. poor name. That is. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a poor These name. These look like fucking children. Well, I mean, you guys like. At least 20. I'm out there fucking real men, right? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Christina, you're the one with the problem. Now, uh, doctor, like let's see what happens. Dr. Cord has to say about this. Another reason straight men will engage in uh, having sex with other men is fraternity initiations. Mm. So well described in the book, Not Gay, Sex Between Straight White Men by Jane Ward. She basically tries to talk about, from a sociological point of view, why do these straight men in fraternities put fingers in each other's butts, urinate on each other, uh, get naked, um, engage in what we would call homosexual sex acts, but they're left alone. Nobody's ever saying these dudes are really gay and are they closeted and what's going on with them. She talks very eloquently about what she thinks is going on. For these men, it's required sex. And so based on that, they're, they engage in it, but then they have a disgust response. And the more disgusted they are, the more it reinforces their heterosexuality. The part of being white, they go unnoticed. Nobody ever accuses them of being gay or bisexual. These are straight boys having fun. Are you seeing yet that none of this is about being gay or bisexual? No. Okay, what fraternity is this? Kappa Omega Kappa? Is this cock? What's going on? It's the Trilams. It's, I don't know. It's, it, it, he, I think he just likes to hear himself talk, honestly. I don't know. I don't but know. you know what's interesting? So we were talking about how, yeah, okay, there's a double standard. But so there is this masculine culture that we live in. Mm -hmm. So to go outside of that culture and try even being gay, I mean, the risk is so heavy mm -hmm. there. Like, wouldn't a man have to really... I don't know, like really want it, like really be inclined in that direction versus like a casual, uh, casual jaunt in homosexuality. I mean, I feel like a casual jaunt is really wanting it. Once you like step uh, into that territory, you know, I feel like it's one thing to be like, oh, I'm going to search on my computer, like maybe watch a porn or. Are you doing that? Or, yeah. or, or, or rent a film if that's still a thing. But I feel like once. I dude, it's it. This whole thing seems hilarious to me because I can tell you, like, once you're, I mean, if you're straight and you like are so aroused by women, you never are like, man, I, w I wonder if guys will do it for me too. Like, it yeah. just never occurs to you. If you're going to a gay bar by yourself without your girlfriends yeah. or your wife, like, I did go with Bert once <laughs> <laughs> to a gay bar. Yes. Oh, I mean, with with our trainer who was gay. That's fine. Yeah, so that if you're if, like having that, having that, what's it called? That that. I'm not gonna Hand lie. Being held. I'm not gonna lie to you. There were parts where I was holding on to Bert, like, "Hey, man, stay close to me." <laughs> oh, I was like, "I'm scared." Dude, I went to one with Jim Jeffries. We went. We were doing a show in, uh, I think we we're in Minnesota, um, and it was epic. Oh, so the theater we were at, it, it was like right there, and then a couple doors down was this gay bar called uh, 
It was Fist? called like the barn door or like yeah. the barn or the, the saloon, something Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. Like. Oh, God. And we go in there because it's right there and it's open. And we're like a lot of the crowd from the show is at this bar and everyone's just cool and we're just having drinks. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's a gay bar, I guess. And all of a sudden there's like this plexiglass. This dude comes out just butt ass naked, butt ass naked turns on a shower that's in there and just starts taking a shower. My back's to the plexiglass. I just look at Jim just like, <laughs> he's like, mate, you got to turn around right now. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? And there's this guy, it's soap all over him. And then there's a little slit Dude. in the plexiglass for the dollars. And he's like, go put a dollar in. And I'm like, oh God. So I put the dollar in. He slaps it with his dick and drags it up the plexiglass. I was like, abadi, abadi, abadi. Like I had never seen See, anything like that. Well, yeah, and like wow, I gotta tell talent. you, the, stri- <laughs> the the straights are not doing it right because no. that sounds like a fucking that's party. Fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A shower. That's yeah, fun. But also, I, I like, what's it like going home? Does he just ring in his money out? And he's that's like, what yeah. I was night. wondering. <laughs> yeah, it's all wet dollars. <laughs> Every night he has this whole routine. Oh, well, it was funny because the women in the bar, like, I was looking around at the girls, and they're like what and i'm like is this no. okay and yeah. they're like oh yeah it's shower saturday and i was like my bad <laughs> shower saturday shower saturday i like shower saturday mm-hmm. we should do that here here what who are we gonna where dj are we gonna, hit the music <laughs> where are we gonna put the shower well, i don't in the new studio we should build a, we should shower, build a shower and every guy has to shower for me on shower tuesday yeah, every yeah, some, every guest some, uh, has to come in a shower yes whoever yeah. there's some porn whoever dudes. there's you? some dudes there's porn dudes in Austin. There's a porn studio in Austin called, uh, hold on, Chaos Men. And they're based out of Austin. Get some boys, get on? some go-go boys Love in it. there. Can I tell you, gay men are so beautiful. Yeah, thanks. It's like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> well, it's, it's because like they, the genetic. You, yeah, you guys take care of yourself. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. No, really. God. That's the thing is that because they're, they're so vain, because they're <laughs> like pursuing other Still in the room. guys. Um, you know, they take care of themselves. Whereas yeah. like straight guys straight are like, guys. Well, I'm I don't talking. know. It's it's because women tolerate straight guy behavior. Exactly. Whereas the gay guys are like, fuck off. Get your shit together. Get your shit. Yeah. Women, you know, I had a gay man. Riaz Patel was on where my mom's at. And he was like, let me tell you, I used to do these makeover shows for for women. And I, I he produced them. And he goes, I was expecting to feel sad for these women because society tells you to do this. And he's like women are fucking doing it to themselves like they're accepting yeah the low standards and they're accepting all the shit that straight guys are doing like we can just be like no you can't do that yeah it's like come on yeah like clip your toenails yeah well uh, brush your teeth you know look at this point you get what you get yeah you know? <laughs> wash your balls there's so many conversations now- <clears throat> where I'm, i still hear straight guys being like i don't wash my nuts Disgusting. and i'm like oh my god God, That's and women gnarly. put up with and it. And women are like, I love him so much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you dated a guy with stinky nuts? With like a <laughs> well, every, bear? Every, let's hold a on. Bear? Every pair of nuts gets stinky. Every pair of nuts gets stinky. That yeah. needs to be a shirt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Write that you down. Got it. <laughs> IMHstudios.com. Um, yes. Yes. I, yes. There have definitely been smells. We're human. Yeah. You know, there's been moments. But I mean, have you dated a guy that's a bear that grows his musk? We used to work out at the gay gym, the bodybuilder gym. Uh, Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of bears. Mm, Yeah. There was a guy at that gym, one guy in particular, who I I put it together after a while that part of his like letting you know he was there was his musk. (laughs) He's praying. Bro, you could walk up the stairs Mm -hmm. because there was the, it was, it was, you know, there was downstairs uh, and as you go up the stairs, you're like, that kind of stinks. Yeah. And then you get there and you're like, oh, he's here again. He's here. He had a big door knocker. (laughs) And oh like, yeah, you know he had like these crazy tats. Did he grunt and? Arr, 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 well, and he oh. also he would um you know you you're walking in the gym and like a dude is just like like he would stare you down. You're like, all right, man, I'm fucking <laughs> coming here to do squats. With his elongated fuck? nipple. Yeah, 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 yeah. We love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we love that. No, but I was actually at the gym the other day and I was like, who's eating sauerkraut? And I was like, that's me. Yeah, it was. I I was like, oh god, I'm stinky. Yeah, yeah so, it, but I'm, you're used to it. It sounds like you're you're used to the man soup. Well, yeah, the gay guy you know, man stew. I'm not having woman soup, so that's why. Yeah, I've now, had woman soup, and it's you know you just like ugh. Yeah, it's just like a like putting your dick in a wet hamburger. Yeah, 
gross. Yeah. And do you hate the way women smell, like vagina smells? I, and- I did have a girl in school who had the worst BO I've ever encountered in my life. Yeah. It's unexplainable. It was almost like, it was like dry vomit. Oh. But covered up with like a Britney Spears perfume. In her vag or all over? All over. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Jesus. We are supported by Policy Genius. It's May and things are blooming. Why not see if your home and auto insurance savings can bloom too? We're almost halfway through with the year. Head into June with one less thing to worry about. See if you're overpaying for home and auto insurance. Is your home and auto policy almost up for renewal? Let Policy Genius look for a lower rate for you. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare home and auto insurance in one place. You answer a few quick questions on their site. They do all the comparing. They tell you what is available for you. They've saved shoppers up to $1,055 per year over what they were paying for home and auto insurance. Go to policygenius.com, answer those few quick questions, and let the process take place. And if you find a better rate, there's no better time to do it than right now. Head to policygenius.com to get started right now. Policy Genius. When it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. We are supported by Nutrafol. 80 million men and women in the U.S. experience thinning hair. Yet, it's still not openly talked about, which can make going through it feel scary and stressful. And that just adds to the problem. You know, that's so true. So many women I know, especially after having children, we lose our hair. So let's look at Nutrafol. Nutrafol is formulated with potent botanicals to help you grow hair as strong as you are. And it's physician formulated to be 100% drug free on top of thicker, stronger hair without lasers or chemicals. Nutrafol's ingredients may also help you get a handle on better sleep, stress response, skin, nails, and libido. Does it work? Yes. In clinical studies, Nutrafol users saw thicker, stronger hair growth with less shedding in just three to six months. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and using promo code YMH to save 20% off your first month subscription. This is their best offer available anywhere and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time plus free shipping on every order. Get 20% off at Nutrafol.com spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com promo code YMH for hair as strong as you are. What's your category in the gay scene right now? Like there are bears, there are yeah. cubs, there are otters, uh-huh. there are good for you. She really knows. I'm I so really... proud hey, of you. San Francisco. There, there was the bandana game. The bandana game is very vintage. Yeah. Yeah, that's old that's school. not a thing anymore. So, <laughs> for those of you who don't know, what the bandana you can game... see why she's asking all the questions. It's the code. Yeah, no. Because <laughs> in San Francisco, I remember like, yes. there's a coat. Yeah. Yes. If, it, if you wore a brown hanky, you're on... into shit. Yeah, yep. out of uh, your pocket. I know, uh, I know. I gotta tell you, tell I, us. <laughs> I'll tell you this. I pretty much have, and I, I swear to you, a non-judgment point of view on kinks across the board. You tell me what you're into, I'm like, that's cool. Like, I'm like, whatever, man. Does, mm-hmm. does that make you happy? Not at shit. I'm like, you're fucked up, man. You are fucked up. See, I... I <laughs> shit? I don't get... No, no, no. I'm not into Come shit. On. I'm not into shit. I, I, but I can get... There's one that I can't get into. Ugh, I can't get into fisting. I no, don't, no, I don't. I, I don't get it. I don't it get it. It terrifies either. me. It should. I don't know what, like, especially when it's like, like I have long arms. Yeah. And like, I've gone on Pornhub and I've seen just like shoulder deep, and I'm like, oh, it's not like, good I can't, for you. Like, what are, you, are we tickling rib cages? Are we playing the xylophone with <laughs> the ribs? What are we doing? It's not good for you. It's and, very bad. And then I've seen the. The gapers. Oh, oh. We don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that either. I don't like man. gaping either. Gaping. gaping. Fisting. I just go. I understand that. That I'm with you. That it, that might be pleasurable mm-hmm. to some, but even visually, I can't oh. take it. I Wait, cannot. Take so, it. what are you in your? What, what am you, I in my like, community? Yeah, like, I don't. I think I. I've I've questioned this a lot because yeah. I'm not a bear. No, I'm not an otter because I'm very hairy. I have no. No but chest explain what whatsoever. an otter is. An so otter is like a tall, slender guy with body hair. Body. There's a lot of those in the gay community. Um, I'm not a twink. No, a twinks twink are still is like around. a young, like like Zac Efron in High School Musical. He's a twink. Um, Bears are hairy. I think I'm a. I think I'm a, a 
twunk. What's a twunk? I think I'm an old twink. An older... Like a hunky twink. A twunk, oh, that's bro. good. You want to so, see some wild shit? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> I've been waiting. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, God! Oh! oh. <laughs> I'm not looking. I looked! Oh, wow. <sighs> How does that even work? How, How does that even work? And why did it look like, like, it looked like a... I don't even know what I don't even know what it looked like. It looked like a like like a bag. So why don't you like describe a bag, like a describe bag. what you just saw? I saw um, darkness is what I saw. Um, <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't. We're watching fisting We're, videos oh, and they oh pulled out the. I'm not even. I can't even look. It looked like when, when someone's grinding the sausage. Yeah, and that's what it looked like. And to think that someone's like, you know what? I'm into this. This is what turns me on the most. And what happens? Do you wear diapers? And afterwards? what? And what happens? Like, let's say you're going out with a guy. <laughs> And you're like, man, this guy's fucking awesome. Like, you love everything about this guy's part. And then he's like, all I need you to do is put both of your arms in my Both asshole. of your arms. Just but like a casual both of your arms. And pull my insides out. And, <laughs> then, and, then, and then we'll be set. Yeah. And then Get just, the fuck out yeah. of here. Hi, dinner was great. I loved the Chablis. <laughs> um, can you rearrange my guts yeah. with your bare hands? Oh. Did you ever get, um, did it ever come on your radar when we played RPC, Robert Paul Champagne? Like oh. he's our oh. number one number top tier one. gay. Maybe here's what he was like when he What'd first you date? came on the scene was in for this video. Maybe just don't black guys who love oh, yes. to fuck and fuck good. <laughs> if you're a hot black guy and you want to fuck me at twenty three ninety five, if you want to move in, you can move in, but you gotta fuck me. I need I need to be fucked a lot, man. Get rid free food, free rent, and everything else, oh. man. Here's a deal, man. Oh, men from jail, homeless, or um, oh. or thug, <laughs> want to come move in? A friend can move you, man. man. Free rent, you get a lease and a key. Fuck me, piss on me, beat me, a home man out. You see me want to come over today and try it out? Try it out, man. Mm -hmm. If you're in my building, try it out. If you want to fuck a piss on me? Try it out. Serious so applied only. Just fuck, man. I'm looking for hardcore guys. I mean it. Want to do it? And I want to deliver it. I'm a hot fuck, white trash. Come dump this fuck. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, if you're talking about a grinder profile, that video, is the bio. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that is. I mean, that's also very. Um, that's like old school. Game. Yeah, yeah. We were talking that's about we this. We love old school. school games. Yeah. He talks one of because he's he's been on the show multiple times now. Mm -hmm. Now that we were after we saw us, we're like, well, this guy's dead. But then after <laughs> like after like R.I.P. a year, we en we ended up connecting with him. He's been on the show multiple times, and one of the things he said is he's like these this these new gays fucking suck. He's like I miss the old days. Yeah. He's like when guys. He said today guys are too mushy and lovey dovey. He's like, where are those guys that just come over and fuck the shit out of you? Well. <laughs> They're still around. I, well, I mean, <laughs> hook him up. Uh, <laughs> I'll, but I'll give you his phone number. It's also very, uh, it's different because now we have smartphones and dating apps and hookup apps. Oh, yeah. And he's not on those. And huh? he's, of course, he's not. He, he better not be. No, he like leaves a number on a wall. <laughs> you know, yeah. he's <laughs> old school. He, he totally does. He's got a, a landline with a, yeah. with a voicemail. Well, he has an OnlyFans. He yeah. has an OnlyFans. He started one recently, and he, Good. he puts so, up. You know, you had to do is this it? Yeah. Is oh, this watch, watch, pay attention. Yeah. This is I'm the gonna come now. I'm gonna come now. I'm coming. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, where oh, is it? Oh, I know. Where oh, is it? Oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh get off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Quite a performance. I got a new ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> I actually already isolated it for you. Oh, get it. Oh. I'll send it to you afterwards. <laughs> that ringtone would be that, priceless. Uh, just having it go off in church yeah, or something. Like, like fuck? Oh. <laughs> See, this is a classic gay. This is the gay guy I grew up with. Yeah. Like, that's This to me is like gold standard mm -hmm. for gay dudes. Gold? Yeah, dude, this is like <laughs> top tier. This is the this fucking is, uh, best. Dude. This is his character, Officer, Officer Cum, Cum Dump. Dump. <laughs> wild, dirty, and filthy. That's right, Officer Cum Dump. I'll take it like a man. I will bend down, and you can bang me as you fit, as you can. Oh, he's the best, dude. He Would is. you have sex with him though? No. Just, but why? Hard no. Hard no. No. Uh, uh, I didn't mean to. I didn't but, mean to jump that far. That was, you didn't think about it much. <laughs> 
It was very vocal. But, yeah. but, but he's so into it. Like, you wouldn't be... I would be his friend. Yeah, he's right. Yeah. I would support him in his decisions. I, is, I, I don't even know him and I'm doing it. Yeah, this is awesome. the lane I've chosen. I'd like yeah. to be his friend. That's it. I'd want to be his friend. Hey, whatever gets you off, whatever, you oh. know, I have, I have some of my best friends are my friends. My, my good guy friends make fun of me because I can talk the talk. But when something actually happens, I turn into like Blanche Devereaux and I'm just oh. like, oh my, like yeah. I, I turn into this like weird Southern belle where I just get very shy and bashful about sex but really I, I do yeah uh, yeah so yeah you're you talk the talk you're I, I can be like oh yeah what and then yeah. like it like someone's like all right let's go and i'm like ah i would never <laughs> like <laughs> so so you need an aggressor you I would don't... need somebody who was like you do this you suck it and then you're like okay like that yeah i can do that yeah <laughs> but it's but not when it's like hey you want to you know shove a Ouija board at my ass. I'm like, eh, no, yeah. we're not going to do that. Uh, maybe you need a police that's, officer, you know? That's right. Officer, come dump here. That's <laughs> right. Waiting for you. Diddly do. For a guy to call me a call. You need relaxation. You need things. Let me take off my glasses and let me see who I'm talking to. Oh, okay. oh let me see who I'm talking to. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, God, he's the best. He seems like a good guy. So now, <laughs> from what I've understood in the gay community, this pandemic has just been horrendous, especially in L.A., because, you know, the bars uh, are closed. And yeah. that this is where you socialize, you mm -hmm. see your friends, and that's devastating. So are you back in the scene? Um, Dating had to be horrible for everybody. Oh, I didn't date anybody yeah. for a whole year. I did not do anything with anybody for a whole year. I know every I feel like we did that drive in show a couple of times <laughs> and you were like, Are you okay, Justin? I'm like, Oh, it's a dry spell, mommy. Yeah. And um But I mean like the, the gay bars are just also a place to congregate well, and catch up, right? It's not just like courting. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite bars um closed down this year, <gasps> which was sad. Which it was, one? It was called the Gold Coast, which mm -hmm. is legendary. It's been around for like 39 years. Oh no! It was right on the right on the uh, right on Santa Monica Boulevard, like past the Strip, like east of of you know the main bars, like the Abbey and mm -hmm. shit. But it was just this divey, like pitchers of beer had a jukebox. There was a pool table you could play darts. And every time, like I would go to the store. Or after my set, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go have a beer. I'd meet up with some of my friends and be like, hey, let's go get a beer at Gold Coast. And then it closed down and it was just so like dirty and like older guys. It was like a small town gay bar vibe. Oh, I like it that, wasn't yeah. this like, tss, tss, yeah, tss, 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 cue the fog. You know, it was like. <laughs> yeah, because those are very intimidating. It, yeah. Well, and everyone's walking around just like, you know, with their cheeks and their lips and their whole face is yeah. done. And who are you? Who do you know? Like it was it was just like. We regular could, hang yeah we could just sit at the bar and like catch up and and that's done and it's gone and it i know Aww. so I many know. places man yeah i mean i've been seeing it like because i've been doing a little bit of the road more it's like you go to these and they're like this is closed that restaurant mm -hmm. everything's closed they're, yeah it's closed down they I mean, we lost we lost flaming saddles which was like a cool um bar yeah do you think they'll ever name gay bars normal thing no like no it has to it have to have like rage closed <laughs> down too which is no! better at rage closed that was like in the rage. 80s yeah i think lance bass bought it so he's our patron oh, saint uh, now we actually saw that like, we talked about it that he claims it's going to be the biggest no not true well do we want the biggest gay bar after a pandemic like do uh, we, it's not, gonna restart the pandemic i know virus. i know we still have aids <laughs> like let's just take take baby steps you know oh, god now when you said uh what was it called sun coast gold coast gold coast yeah did you ever play tic-tac-toe when you were there tic-tac-toe <laughs> yeah because what is this what are you doing oh god tic-tac-toe my face man tic-tac-toe then you put x X, oh yeah. yeah. What? You want to put, you want to put pig on me, man? Yeah. Pig. Uh. Yeah, let me know, man. Pig. Is that paint or is it his shit? Yeah, pig. Good question. Yeah. Yeah. it's a good game. Not no guys, sure, man. Yeah. I'm I was always taken by the fact that he didn't win tic tac toe and playing he played alone. himself. Yes. <laughs> He did X, X, O. X, You're like, hey, you lost, even, man. Even O was an X. Yeah. He was like, X, O. It was like, I'm like, that's Not an X. in order. <laughs> hey, man, what are you doing? You lost. Yeah, you can't play uh, with yourself. You can't play with yourself. Yeah. You can't play tic-tac-toe by yourself. I've never... But, um, hmm. um, 
to to answer your question about getting back into it, I feel like now people are kind of getting vaxxed more and Good. um putting their toes back in. Like it's it's funny because like I've been I've been on a couple like dating apps just to kind of just test the waters and see, but like um that's like the first question that comes up and that's actually in someone's bio now. It's like fully vaxxed and like I'm a wow. vaxxed queen Perfect. and you're like, yeah. Well, I was going to ask you about gay profiles. It must be so awesome. Are you guys like I'm vaxxed, I'm a power bottom, <laughs> I like pissing, I like like do you just put it all out there? Some people do, yeah. It must yeah. be great. I mean I mean I I I wish let me see if I have what Yeah, let's be, look what it up. my bio let's say see on, it. on something? Yeah. Yeah, I would say what do you something. want, grinder? Do you want a yeah, grinder? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Let's see who's around town right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Here, I'll turn the, the volume on, too, to see if anyone chimes <gasps> in and how long it takes. Oh, is this going, like, live? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. This is exciting. My... Did you ever go to those butt fuck clubs? Like, no. in San Francisco, there were, like, clubs where a guy would just... I swear, you are you. really fired up about this. Stuff. Well, I love gay culture. It's the best. It, it's it's, it's fun... fascinating. Let's see. I want to see... Gay men are the best. You okay. kidding me? It doesn't. They're oh. like uber humans. It doesn't say. Oh, maybe I don't have a. I love the gays. Oh, yeah. about me. Oh, <laughs> nope. I don't have anything in my about. Oh, we got to change. We got to change that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Oh, do you all want to help me? With yeah, it? let's write a bio for okay. you. Okay. Um, edit profile about me. Okay. okay so what what are we gonna say? Um, what are you? Are you a power top? Or are you a power? No, hey, I'll go. Let me help you out here. Okay. Go ahead. Let's lead with height. You have good height. Yeah. Oh. So you six. Three. Wow, Justin. Yeah. Dang. Mm. You, hung, cut. <laughs> That's what they say on there. Hung, cut. Okay. They say that on their profiles. The gay community. Keep going. Six three. Hung, cut. Good shape. Give great, me, great give shape. Me a, give me a, a, a an adjective and a noun. Okay. Uh, Grinder Mad Libs. Oh, adjective. So I, you fit, six foot three. Fit, hung, kit. Athletic. Ath fit. Fit. Thick. No. Uh, no. No. Funny. Athletic. Fit. Ooh. And then dash no one dash wants funny. No, okay, no, no fine. One, you're not coming over to be like, hey. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, the pandemic, am I right? Uh, suck puppet. Suck puppet. Uh -huh. And then dash dash tic tac toe. Suck puppet <laughs> dash. Okay. Tick. You guys are dudes. You guys know. Tac toe. <clears throat> Let me know if this works out for you. Tic tac toe. L O L. You know what I mean. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay. You know what I mean. And if someone, you know, everyone's gonna be like tic tac toe, and I'm like, like you fucking no, figure it out. Bitch. Yeah. You're coming over. You're coming. <laughs> you know, dude, I want a full report on okay. this bio. Wait. So is it gonna go live, and then dudes in the area will like yeah. hit you up, and do they <gasps> see your face? <gasps> yeah. Do you want to see my profile? Yeah. See, and this is weird because I'm never on. It's like. That's oh a my god! You tic tac toe, dud. man. You look amazing, dude. That's fucking killer. That's huge. Oh, dude. oh my oh. god. That's I'm your grinder profile. Yeah, I like the outdoors. Athletic. That's me at the beach. Oh, you're adorable. And what a that's catch. Me outside, dude. Come on. Who's hey, fucking me cashing me outside, place, man? Wait, <laughs> we're, that's, we're just gonna have that. Well, playing. let's see if anybody hits okay. you. Can you leave it open oh, so yeah. that people can hit you up? Let's get you laid today, bro. Oh, see, I don't know if I'm. Well, no, I'm ready. <laughs> Fully that. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, all right, let's take a look at. So we play this game sometimes called horrible or hilarious. Okay. And we just show you a video and you tell us whether it's very straight guy game. It's yes. a very well. If, if, oh, let's go. I can. I have the majority can, of my friends are straight. By the I way, know. you're yeah. a fucking kidding. comedian. Yeah. Jesus yeah. I know. All right. So is this horrible or hilarious? Ambulance. What happened? It ran over the guy it's going to help, the ambulance did. Oh, I mean, that's hilarious. Yeah. So there's the guy in the foreground there. The ambulance pulls up and runs over him. Oh, yeah. I don't hear you LOLing. I mean, it's not, it's like, it's dark hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like he was wanting the help and they ran him over. They ran him yeah. over. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. kind of, it's well, pretty funny. It's kind of like to be clear, Tom was the only one who laughed. Well, I mean, now. if you put a Benny Hill track behind that, it's, it's pretty funny. Hilarious. That's different. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a scream. Cut out okay. the screaming and everything's funny. Uh, I haven't seen this one. This is another horrible, hilarious. Let's see. This is a <sighs> guy walking, carrying something in a backyard. Oh, I, I got know. a notification. I got <gasps> it up. Yep. Oh, let's see it. Come on. What happens? He's walking up to like a shed. Oh! 
Oh, oh he when got big really... guys fall, man. Mm, tell me about it. I mean, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sorry, too Let me soon. See it it's again. okay. No. Yeah. Oh, he he broke something. Oh. He broke something. Yeah, because you don't have to fall that far. Yeah, no. You know, I'll tell you that gravity, man. Three, four inches will do it. Oh, can I see it again? Yeah, it's a really small fall, but I mean, he's he yeah, is he's, he's definitely that's a big guy though he's like he's three too bills big yeah to fall yeah you can't fall this he knows he's like shuffling here like walking real slowly and what did he hit he just oh oh he oh, slid yeah. he, he that's s- a shoulder break collarbone maybe Coll- yeah it's something up here yeah 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 that's a great scream though that's a horrible that's a horrible that was yeah horrible and that's what sucks too it's like it was probably like a wet leaf yeah yeah and he just <laughs> slid right off the incline can, can we see who your grinder oh, yeah. matches she's like shut up i know i want to see let's get this is let's david get justin laid david let's what's check up? what's his story what's his profile you're seeing it oh is- <laughs> see here's the thing anonymous oh he's an egg even better. i don't have time for that no, no. that's creepy who trusts that? And then bottom host now, 26. Okay. That's yeah, that a good guy's one. jacked. I mean, but also there was the is face. That, is that him? Oh, right. He's no, the face that's out. another guy. That's whack though, right? To cut your face out? Well, it's like, a th- I don't know what. Do you I don't respect know why, that? I don't well, respect it. There's a whole thing of like torso culture where it's like, but I don't you want. You got to see the goods. You got to see the face. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant the D. No, no, the no, face. No, no, the face. I want like if you're coming over or like I'm coming over. Yeah, there, what do you look like? like? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But the, there's people who are like, I don't care what you look like. Doors unlocked. Like Jesus. You're like, ah, yeah. Dungeon. That's, dungeon shit. Yeah, it's dungeon gaze. You Dun- call I had a guy ask me yes. to come over to his dungeon like last week, and I was like, God, right after Easter. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay. Um. Well, because you mentioned uh, as soon as you got here that you uh, pay homage. To the Church of Christina and yeah. TikToks, we thought we would play some TikToks for you. Oh God! Okay, yes. I heard you yes, bitches yes, was yes. looking for me. Bitch, <laughs> here I go. Okay, so here I here, go. Here. She's the best, dude. She got fired from her job <clears throat> at McDonald's. Did she? Yeah. Make, for making talks. For making talk, yeah. She got really famous on TikTok, and then they fired her That's from haters. McDonald's. Yeah, Those are big time Mickey D haters. Yeah. All right. Uh, we I, as always I don't know what's in this these are just from <laughs> Christina's curations okay. I must say uh, you know it's been a different rabbit hole that I've been going down but I'll let them mm-hmm, speak for mm-hmm. themselves okay. yeah, go ahead go ahead that's hard to do oh god that was it <laughs> I was First waiting. All, I was like, if the leg, broken legs, bone, I thought we were going to see a fucking thought, leg snap. Yeah, 100%. Full, full femur snap. Just this. I was like, <laughs> so I was like oh, oh, oh man, this, this leg's going to snap. I was waiting for it. I was like, he's no, a big guy jumping around. Happy guy. Who, but, yeah, a new homeowner with yeah. joy in his I think, body. I have to say my favorite part of that whole thing is you just saying that's hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> to jump seven times in, in frame? an empty bedroom. That's impressive. Wait, wait Fucking a minute. A, I can't do that. Can you do that? Uh, I don't know. No, I, I, Justin can do it. Yeah. I can't I'm do that. I'm still rehabbing, but Justin can do it. Can, I can't because after having two kids, my hips are like, sp- uh, I couldn't jump like that. Okay. So I was really Here, taken. The, the physical feat of 2021, I mean, everybody. I can't do that. Three, you can do that. Four, He's also incorporating that dolphin move that the kids do. Uh-huh. And that's. He doesn't have a trampoline or anything. That's good. Wow. I can't do that. He was really proud of himself. He, he walked was. by. He was like, you see that shit? How many <laughs> likes did that have? Do we know? It's like 8,000 likes for this guy jumping around. I put something up and it's like four. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Christ. I don't know. Tonight in Omaha, Nebraska, the temperature is 51 degrees outside. I am in the emergency room hospital because I don't feel real good. If you guys would like to pray for me, that oh. is fine and okay. What is the temperature where you guys live at, and what are you guys doing tonight? Have a wonderful and God bless it night. Bye. That this, is a queen. This is why you ask for face pics on Grinder. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. That looks like the 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 gay doctor's like mom. <laughs> Well, and didn't it take you on a roller coaster? Yeah. I mean, first it was, how's the weather? 57. Yeah. I thought, well, that's chilly. And then mm-hmm. I'm in the hospital. I'm not feeling well. What's the weather like in your, your community? Town, yeah. yeah, like, 
wow, then she brought it back to the weather again. I just see. I didn't even hear the weather. I was thinking, who cut her hair? Yeah. yeah. So then there's that. And can I get their number? Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> oh, that is just. Well, how do you feel? <laughs> how do you feel about it? I haven't heard you chime in. Yeah, it's a really good one. <laughs> she gets her hair cut at Fan Tragic Sam's. <laughs> like that is, dude. It is a thing too. I, and I think I, I observe it maybe because I hear her all the time. You know, I hear her just all the time making observations more about women, but I'm, I'm almost stunned when I see women, women mm -hmm. with particularly bad haircuts where I'm like, has no one fucking said something to you? Here's the like, thing. They don't have gay friends or they don't believe in it. Yeah. So if you don't believe in gay stuff, you get the bowl. Thank you, yeah. Justin. The bowl's Let me wild. tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank wild. God. How many Republican women have bad oh. haircuts? Yeah. Bad, chunky highlights. Yeah. You know, because they're like, marriage is between a man and a woman. It's like, yeah. really, Brenda? Yeah. yeah. Really? That's right. Yep. You need a gay man to teach you all mm -hmm. of this stuff. Mm -hmm. A hundred percent, man. Yep. Gay men make straight women gay look men or beautiful. Gay women, too. Gay hairdresser. Like, just have somebody who knows fucking style <sighs> and That's trends. So, dude, so true. can I tell you something that happened in Silver Lake? So, Please. <laughs> do you remember this? <laughs> My parents <laughs> came to visit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> So By the way, your like, mom's an icon. This Thank you. Yes. This involves her. So okay. my dad, this who's like, you know, buddy, like he's like, you know, such a middle America white guy, and he's married to this Latina lunatic. And uh, <laughs> they come over. We're we're it's like 2012, I think, and we're living in in Silver Lake, and we we live on Hyperion, so you can walk down like MJ's, uh, yeah. Say Cheese, Which is TJ's. Gone now. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Do you remember? Was it a fisting Tuesdays there? I don't, no, I don't rim recall. job. Don't recall. Rim job. Rim job. Yeah. Every fucking rim job. Tuesday. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. So they had yeah, and there's and there's the Trader Joe's and yeah. The, so my mom comes down. She's like, I need to get the haircut, and I think you say like, I know where to take you. There's Alan. A place. Well, no. First, what? I say you gotta go to Alan. Right. Which, but he's not available. Alan Martinez, shout out. He wasn't available. He wasn't he was available. Last minute. So she's like, I have to, I have to, you know. And I said, I against my better judgment, I warned her. I go, look, Alan Martinez is the only guy I trust. He's in Beverly Hills. Let me take you, because even when I had no money, yeah. I spent my money on good hair. On yeah. Him. So. And she refused me. She did. She so I just want to go. I just want to go here. So it walks down Hyperion, and she gets her hair. <laughs> Okay. cut by a like a butchy lesbian woman mm -hmm. who puts her pre her aesthetic on my mother so in other words the woman's like this is what i like uh -huh. like this butchy woman cuts my mom's hair mm -hmm. to please <laughs> herself the hairdresser <laughs> Does that make sense? Oh, you know what I mean? She's like, this is what I'm. This, this is what I'm, I'm into. Going, this is this my is project. My, this yeah, is yeah. My like, cut. I'll tell you. I'll my tell you canvas. A, I'll tell you what's a good looking cut oh, is like okay. this. Oh shit. So. I'm, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> so, am I waiting for a picture? Is that there's no, a reveal? Really okay. No, it's, it's, that's not. This it. is, but yeah. So we're, I'm just at home with my dad, and then <laughs> I don't know. Hour and a half later, two hours later, what's up? We see them walking up the driveway. I don't even see it. I'm just sitting there and my dad, all of a sudden he goes, oh shit. <laughs> and I go, what? He's like, your mom. She looks like a gay guy. I go, uh, what? It turned out because the lady had given her like a spiky. It was the spiky, spiky. The spike. It was yeah. like, I was like, kind of like your hair now, no. but shorter. What? No, no. It was, a, it was a spike. It was a spike. Uh, <laughs> and like, it was like almost mohawk. Like Kate Gosselin? Like, were, were, it was worse. like mohawk And mohawk, like, it looked yeah. like she was going to go to like, you know, I know, lead a softball team on a championship it, run. It, hold like on, she, it, it was like what boys do when it's like they mash down this part and mm -hmm. then there's like the front. So TikTok, a TikTok kid. <laughs> a TikTok kid. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. that's. <laughs> I love how you're like, what's it look like? I'm like, a TikTok kid? That's the whole thing yeah. now. They swoop it down. Wow. Was, it was there amazing. highlights? Low lights? No. There was something done. She there was, didn't do color. She didn't do color. And but here's the best part is that so as your mother was getting the haircut, yeah. I was holding this, the haircutter's chihuahua. I'll never forget. And your your mother was looking at me because she could see in the mirror what this woman was doing yeah, to she wasn't her. Yeah, what did she say? It, nothing. She nothing? was just, she she, your down. mother was just like, Shake your head. I was the laughing funny thing, the whole time. I was like, the best is <laughs> that like 
shit. My dad was more upset than my mom. When he well, saw yeah. it, he was like, God damn it. It's like a man. <laughs> <laughs> but I wonder if she didn't say anything because if she did, it'd be like a hate crime or something. She's like, I don't no. want to She was too her. intimidated. No, yeah, it was, was just too intimidating because it was such a lesbian. Like it a, was a lesbian owned, lesbian run salon. It was an alpha female. Alpha yeah. female. And so yeah. it was silverback. Yeah, it was yeah. understood if you're in there, like you're likely down with what they're going to give mm-hmm. you. And I warned her. I was like, dude, this is this is like because right, she neighborhood. wouldn't. She got it yeah. because she couldn't wait for out. Like she could have waited for like the guy who knows what's up. Yeah, Beverly Hills. Yes. Yeah. But she was like, no, I got to go now. Like, okay. Uh, <sighs> okay. Here we go. How many inches did they take off? Girl. Hair. Girl. Girl. I mean, <laughs> let her, me tell yeah. you, her hair was like this hot. It was so bad. Oh, <laughs> dude, it I'm was surprised she wasn't later that You're week. Right. My dad was like, I can't believe I have to look at your mother like this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All right. There's so motor good. running. Oh. Head on the highway. Looking for adventure. Yeah, we know how it goes. For whatever comes our way. Yeah. Wow. This guy loves karaoke at Applebee's. Yeah, he sure yeah. does. Yeah. Well, last he week. He usually reviews food. Like, yeah. Like, <clears throat> like fucking popcorn he like, i got popcorn today oh. well he likes to review like the new oreos that are out these are vanilla instead of chocolate i'm, ju- I'm jumping to the next one this disco oh. bob okay i mean i took a viagra yes now it got stuck in my throat now i got a stiff neck son of a you know um I feel like this is that worm from Labyrinth that grew up. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I'm talking about? (laughs) Yes, I do. And exactly. And also, if you're going to tell a Viagra joke, like you're going to tell a dick joke. You got to say it with a little more confidence. Yeah. Like that could have actually been like a somewhat amusing dad joke. Yeah. Yeah. It got stuck and I got a stiff throat. Like if he would have put a little more punch into it yeah but then he chooses not to curse at the end son of a son of a and it's like you're telling and then he went he goes i took a i I took a viagra it's like dude i mean project a little bit like he's he's definitely tell the the joke how he should have yeah yeah let's do it go redo i took a viagra you started all right now you got stuck in my throat now I got a stiff neck. He, yeah, he says said, now, said twice. now twice. He says now twice. Yeah. So he should have been like, I took a Viagra. It got, got stuck, stuck in my in throat. My, yeah. Now I got a stiff neck. Now I got a stiff neck. Oh! Son of a bitch. Yeah. Beat. Son of a bitch. There you go. Yeah. Hold yeah. for It's pause. almost like the yeah. three of us have done this before. We, yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's go to the next one. No. What okay, is that? This is what the night looks like. Found a bullfrog. Bunch of crawfish. What the, the fuck? Fish. Is this Theo Vaughn's bathtub? <laughs> <laughs> Row. Yep. I like it. I'm not mad at it. It's, I love a good crawdad tadpole swamp bathtub. Well, why it's interesting. This? Yeah. I mean, I've never seen something like this. I've never seen either. It's but, like a biosphere, you know? But yeah. why? Why are they keeping bullfrogs and crawfish in their bathtub? I don't understand. Maybe it's a science experiment for school. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe he's just like, you know, dogs and cats are played out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want them tadpoles yeah, and crawdads. Bullfrogs and shit like I that. I mean, it's interesting. You know it's definitely saying? interesting. Yeah, it is pretty dark and weird. Yeah. You are not the first who would have asked me, oh. but you are the first that I will deny. Oh. Wow. I love sorcery TikTok. Yeah. Like it's like like lo- like this it's guy a good loves, lane. like loves a Ren Fair. For yes. those for those listening, he is answering the question. Can you sleep with my wife? Yeah. And he said, I, you are not the first to ask me, but you are the first that I will deny. Like, you are not worthy. Yeah, you're not worthy. Meanwhile, wearing a, like, a, like a jeweled pentagram around his neck. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very high forehead. That's like an eight <laughs> head. <laughs> Extremely high. <laughs> very yes. high forehead. Um, and very, you know, angular, alien-esque frame. There well, is no way <laughs> this guy doesn't wake up and practice at least 12 minutes of breathing techniques. Yeah. You know I mean? 1,000 to get the system going. Mm-hmm. He, he's definitely... Can roll so, the stomach like the stomach goes... Yes. <laughs> so he's a devil worshiper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Loves yeah. incense. Yeah, he's he worships Satan. Yeah. But Tom... <laughs> Can no, I tell he you really how, does. Oh, he really does. Yeah, I did a deep oh, dive. Like, you know <laughs> how exhausting this man would be? Like how quickly uh, you'd be like... Oh, he's an energy vampire. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. That's well, what that is. But I, you know what I do like is his softer look. As we were talking about what you could do the for The eyes me. are... No, but listen, I like his long 
hair. Do you think you could grow a ponytail for me and then maybe wear a pentagram around your See, neck? See, I have a gay friend and yeah, he's telling me what don't to do. do Thank you. Well, I, I'm so feminine. No. It's nice. No, my friend told me. Yeah, you shouldn't okay. do that. I'm right here. Should yeah. he get implants? For what? Well, look at his hair. Like oh. hair implants? Oh, I was like, get, like, you have like to specify plugs? what yeah. implants. Let's yeah. see. No. I mean, I'm bald, but you yeah. know, it's like, no. I don't care. I usually keep it like super trim. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just you get, no, because then you're like, that's like Piven territory, you know, or it's oh, like, yeah. ooh. Should, should he shave <laughs> his beard? No, keep the beard. Beards are in. Yeah. Beards are in. Okay. I mean, if you want to, and this is not pressure to do that, you could trim it a little bit, but okay. just a little bit. Okay. But it's fine. What about butt implants? What about him? I think he might need butt cheeks. No. Do you want to get butt no. implants? No. That's no, because then if, if you're a guy, you're just setting him up for, you know, that's his guys will his friends will never let him down on that one. On wow. butt implants? I butt mean, implants. She's out no. of her fucking mind. Are there guys with butt implants? There's sure. yes, there. I mean, yes, there are. Straight guys? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. No, I think I could probably just do more squats. Just do more, do some glutes, do some squats, bro. Yeah, that's it. Okay. All yeah. Right. yeah. Tribe spoke. Okay. Don't oh. threaten me. Oh, okay. I don't like it. Oh. What happened? Did I hit a nerve about TJ and Judy and them? I don't know, no Tammy. I ain't said nothing about no Tammy. This is one of my wow. favorite types of talks, oh. which is uh, I have personal things to handle yeah. on a public platform. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes. But it's also like how people get Personal. so yeah that's a good that's a good pound it out like it's like you can make shit up just to spark someone just to set them off let them snap yeah, yeah. Like she's like i don't know who you're talking about and you're accusing me of things yeah that oh, i don't yeah. know about and i'm gonna get angry about yeah. it like oh well what's great about her if you want to look at it says k v one that stands alone that's her TikTok, mm -hmm. and there's a series of these where she's just going back and forth with this person and they're she's fully threatening people and threatening to beat their asses and <laughs> stuff it's fantastic. great yeah. where does she live uh, florida oh this is um uh, this is brooklyn actually she's uh, a <laughs> brooklyn native <laughs> that's so know. like when they're like what's that and then she did like a dramatic pause oh, oh yeah. yeah this is like from like acting class like yeah yeah very ibsen i don't like it yeah yeah it's Stella to Adler. I yeah. know. Stella. <laughs> Jesus. All right, one more. Let's see what okay. we round this up with. Okay. Ain't gonna touch it. Cherry hole. It's called cherry hole. Hey, who you paying it from? Hey, hey, hey. Wow. Wow. Wow, I can't even, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> like, she had full on like penguin mouth from Batman Returns when he has that like, oh, black my shit face coming hurts. out. <laughs> oh, Let's shit. see it again. Yeah, yeah, right. That was like juggalo shit. Mango touching cherry hole. It's called cherry hole. Hey, 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 who you paying it from? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is okay. <laughs> That's a good. I've line. posted a couple of videos. I think I've posted a couple of TikToks actually, um, with people doing drugs or you know they're clearly <laughs> yeah. fucked up and on shit, and people no. are like, "This isn't funny," and That's I'm like, hilarious. "Well, it's yeah. kind of." I mean, if you're, it's hilarious. It's not funny. It's if hilarious. I saw that in a restaurant, <laughs> I'm still waiting. Like I see all these like Karen explosions yeah, on. Yeah. TikTok and I'm like I'm like ready I'm like <laughs> I'm waiting for the what would you do guy to come out yeah because I'm waiting for that like in public <laughs> scene to happen and I'm like ready wow like, I know you're, you're like you're holding your phone like something happened something Please. has to happen I know like, this is like you know this might be like day six of, of a binge you know of what I mean a binge like, or uh, withdrawal maybe or, or one, I don't think she's withdrawing no, I think she's going all in on that and, <laughs> and the weird thing is like I'm the like, weird thing <laughs> well to me is it like you see the look the makeup the, makeup. the behavior and i'm still <laughs> completely attracted to her oh like, I wow want, i want to be with her uh-huh you know? i'm I'm, to, I'm super turned on what's her what's her name do you know her name i would we, love to, if you could get her name we know nothing. Is, it, is it penny wise like I don't know. Whew, but man. you know what I, uh it's just oh, funny. You know what? 
That's terrible. She like <sighs> she works at a haunted house when it's not Halloween. <laughs> That's right? right. Yes. I mean, look at her. She's the right weight. Yes, the She's right weight. Cool, <laughs> cool tats. Cool jeans. Yeah. Oh man. You know what I love too is um, a corn maze employee. Oh fuck. She got a cigarette in the right. Yeah. <laughs> inside is the restaurant. Is she smoking in I the restaurant? So. I think so. <laughs> That's the least of her concerns. Oh, oh you can't smoke shit. in here. Okay. You know what I love is the caption. The person that clowned her, she started shooting, and then it's the crying, smiley yeah. faces. Yeah. I love when people clown fucked up behavior. It oh, makes yeah. me so happy. It's amazing. I didn't caption that. I just, that was yeah. in there. She started so shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out, like, <laughs> what's <laughs> on the menu. I see, like, onion rings. I get a burger there. That's a good burger joint. Yeah, person. that's Charcoal. a good place. Reminds me of Tommy's Burgers or something like that. You know, God, <laughs> that full chest tattoo and that tank tan. Man, she's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I would so date her. She's uh, so cool. Also, I love her. to wear a bandeau top or whatever the shit's called, bandeau bandeau top. You gotta have hungry tits. Do you know what? You cannot wear that top with titties. Do you know no. what the tat says? Did you get a peek at it before? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, because if you got big tits, you gotta you like, see you it? gotta keep pulling it up, you right? Won't, you won't do it. <clears throat> it's, got, it's not gonna work. You gotta have some hungry tits. Hungry tits. Uh, so it looks like Zolo says it either says delusions or delicious. We can't tell for sure. Oh, Maybe oh. I'm gonna go with the, the name former. Of, the yeah. name of the place is called <laughs> delusions. <laughs> delusions. <laughs> the restaurant is delusions. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> It's where you go to have them. Come on in for our delusional <laughs> special. Um, <laughs> Justin Martindale, listen to Glitter and Garbage. Yes. You can rate, review, and subscribe. Um, well, any, you're going to be anywhere coming up? Um, anytime coming up soon. Um, I don't know. Where do people, people find, find you? you? You can find me on Instagram at Justin Martindale, and you can find me on Twitter at Just Martindale. Perfect. Right. And um, when the comedy store returns. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And when the comedy store returns. We'll definitely see Justin there. Yes. Um, thank you for coming today. It's a lot of fun. Me. So and if good. I don't see y'all, good luck in Austin. Yeah. We'll be back Gosh. a lot. We'll okay, back. good. Yeah. Good. Uh, we're going to go out on Mary Had a Little Lamb by Dipstick. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Oh, I'm disrespectful towards him if he disrespectful towards me because I'm not that bitch that need $40. Yup, I got my own job. Yup, I got my own car. Yup, I pay my own bills. Yup, I'm that bitch. So what do I need you for? Not a damn thing. Now go on somewhere with all that. And that's on who? That's on Mary Had a little lamb. Mary Had a little lamb. Bitch. Mary Had a little lamb. Mary Had a little lamb. Yup. Mary Had a little lamb. Mary Had a little lamb. Bitch. Mary Had a little lamb. Mary Had a little Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, 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 so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.